I don't know about you guys, but that was actually a really fun uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii speedrun from Kaden. I'll be honest, I don't think I ever finished that game. Usually I'll play it with friends or family, and we never get past the third world because we're just killing each other. So that was fun to watch for sure. But as I mentioned, that is not the only Mario we have uh, today. We have two more Mario games that everyone knows and loves. Coming up shortly, we have Super Mario Galaxy by Ghost for 80%. Luigi. We get some Luigi in Mario. And then after that, we have CC uh, finishing off the day with Super Mario Sunshine 80%. So we got some fantastic games coming up. Both are fantastic speedruns. Yeah, Luigi. It's Luigi Mario Galaxy, not Mario. Like, Luigi Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Super Luigi Galaxy. I can't speak tonight. Don't mind me. I can't speak in a moment. I'm hosting. Go figure. Speaking of Luigi, he's not. He, I don't think he's in these games, but uh, <laughs> we have uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars is a seven dollar tier coming up uh, at the up until the end of the upcoming Super Mario Galaxy uh, speedrun. Uh, you can donate seven dollars, and it's cumulative. Just. Uh, and you will be able to put in for a raffle for that game. Good luck finding that game anywhere that's not $4 million on eBay. For $7, you can get it, like right now. Hello, Slime. Don't dox Luigi's full name. I'll try not to. I'll be honest, I haven't seen Mario. I haven't seen Mario Galaxy. Oh, sorry, Luigi Galaxy in a while, so this is gonna be a fun one. I will say though, uh, we are at one thousand four hundred and thirty seven dollars dot in uh seventy nine cents. It, and on tracker it says fourteen thirty eight, but you know that's that's really weird. That's I don't like that. That's 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 not fun. That's not a good number. Can we at least get that evened out. Like I know we're gonna be, I know we're gonna be fighting throughout the rest of the marathon for the cents portion because there's gonna be people donating like you know four dollars twenty cents like me, or three dollars sixty nine cents like me. We need to get that fixed. Uh, what's a good number, chat? What's a good number we can get that to get that to? I'm telling you, I should probably tell uh, CC or CJ or even Quo next time around. Uh, we should add the sense in on the overlay, just to, just so people can see and they'll be like, "Oh man, that looks weird." I'm gonna fix that, and you could be the hero or you could be the villain. You never know. I'm the villain for sure. I'm I'm a man who likes chaos. See, exactly. Only chaos would ensue. It'd be great. The sense versus the nonsense. So how's everyone enjoying day two of the marathon so far? It's been great. I've been watching uh, I'm out of the monitor, been practicing because I have also have a marathon run uh, next week. So I've been trying to get some more rust knocked off, so to speak. Day, day two has been great. Day one was great. Day two is great as well. I also have some great runs tomorrow, too. Like we have Breath of the Wild, uh, Chameleon Twist 2, Ban uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, Metroid Prime, Banjo, Nintendo Kart Racers. Let's go. 
Jack and Daxter, dude, it's, it's stacked tomorrow. We have a lot of good runs tomorrow. So if you are definitely a fan of any of those speed runs, you should definitely check it out. We, we have a, a donation from Zenos360 with uh, $30 and 90 cents. <laughs> and he says, to avoid it fixing the total, I wanted to leave the Mario Sunshine goal at $100. Only 130 left for it. Correct. We have 130 left to go on that one. Uh, if we can get that one knocked out before the end of Mario Galaxy, then we could just change Mario's costume to not look like plain old Mario. That's awesome. I'm getting a word that we are ready to go. So without any further ado, Let's get ready for some Mar uh, Luigi Galaxy. enjoying Speed Doxathon. I'm Zach from Save Data Team, and I'm here to tell you about our channel in this brief intermission. At Save Data Team, we make a lot of stuff, such as video essays breaking down the music in the Legend of Zelda series, to this video essay on the history of the history of world record progression videos, in which I interviewed content creators like the Speed Dox guys themselves to learn how their content gets made. But we also do Let's Plays like our Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer series, Why? Like a dog. <laughs> and even this stream where we played Celeste, but our Twitch chat could kill us at any time. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You oh, bastards! Oh, oh, oh. So, if anything I said sounds interesting to you, head over to Save Data Team on YouTube and give us a watch. Thanks, and now back to the show. Just watch the bot stream hex, cause that's like a lot less delayed than the actual stream. Are you talking about like on the Discord? Yes. It's not loading for me. Yeah, it'll load soon once Packle like introduces yeah. us, I believe. No, like yeah, I was just about to. Y'all <laughs> <Endless Discord loading>. <laughs> talk as soon as uh, we went live. Hello, everybody, oh. welcome back to Estat 2022. I'm the Packle, and with me I have Ghost. Uh, Hex speedrunner uh, speedruns and the mine 2001. We are getting ready for some super Luigi galaxy. Take it away All right, thank you for that introduction Packle. My name is ghost TSR and I'm gonna bring you this awesome run of Super Mario Galaxy uh, This is one of my favorite childhood games. Hopefully it is for you and before we start the run I wanted to have Hex and mine introduce themselves or explain a little bit about themselves so go ahead guys what's up i'm hex i've been running this game for a very long time and this is one of my favorite speed games if not my favorite and i'm really excited to commentate this run for ghost and show everyone how good galaxy speedrunning is hey everyone i'm the mind 2001 and i'm a multi mario speedrunner and my, this is my main game super mario galaxy it's a really good speed game and i hope you all enjoy ghost's run all right, so before we start the run, um, this is any percent. The goal of any percent in Super Mario Galaxy is to beat the game as fast as possible. To do this, we collect 60 stars 
throughout the entire run and we'll explain a little bit about that the story later and also you may notice that um i'm going to be playing as luigi so in this game you can play as either mario or luigi we're going to play as luigi because he is faster overall mainly because of the fact that he'll skip a five minute intro cutscene at the beginning of the run and he also jumps a lot higher and runs a lot faster so and also uh i'll explain it a little bit right now but you see me have an extra cursor on there like a 2p and 1p cursor i am literally playing with two remotes right now and i'll i'll have hex explain the advantages of that later in the run but uh if we can get a countdown that would be pretty cool uh if you want me to count down i'll start you can do the uh, countdown tackle, can I... all right uh so in f 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. When we're off, here we go. Okay. All right, so I'll have Hex explain a little bit about Gateway All and right. what's going on right now. So this is the first level in the run, and like every other Mario speedrun, the first level is the most reset heavy due to the fact that we have to catch three bunnies, and anyone who's played any Mario game knows that these creatures are impossible to catch. Thankfully, we can use a little bit of a trick. We can collect some star bits and shoot it at them so that they're stunned, but it's a lot easier said than done. And um, it can be a bit tricky, but it's cool when done correctly. There are, yeah, yeah, so the bunnies move in like pretty predictable ways. So hopefully I can snipe them. Yeah, they're in the same places every time. So it's not random or anything. Not yeah, it's one. just finicky. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna say there's an exception to the first level rule because uh, Sun Super Mario Sunshine's airstrip is a three and a half minute auto scroller. Yeah, we just get into the game, especially as Luigi. We just get right into playing. Also, that was a really good bunny. Yeah, that was really good. Made it look easy. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, that's oh, actually wait. like, I, it, I made it look easy, but it's really not. And also, uh, here's the first application of a 2P. Of 2P. I'm going to be doing a grounded 2P jump, which is done by pointing the 2P cursor at Luigi and pressing the 1PA button and the 2PA button at the same time. Yeah, there are a lot of uses for 2P, and this is just one of the many uses. Um, 2P, and, oh, go ahead. And the second uh, application for 2P is going to come up in like a few, in like half a minute, uh, or like 30 seconds. Uh, Hex, if you want to explain Ooh. gateway skip, I'll go uh, for it. Oh, nice. Okay, so Ghost is actually going to do probably a really recent discovered strat, actually, now that I think about it. Gateway skip is where you use basically a mega triple jump, which is essentially a really precise triple jump that gets you a lot of height. And he's gonna try and use it to skip a planet for, um, that usually you'd have to like collect the key. And it's really hard, but it looks really cool and it would be like sick if he got it. And he's gonna be able to get enough height because usually this wouldn't be possible. He's gonna use the midair 2P jump provided to try and get just enough height to make it to the next planet. All right, here goes. I'm gonna remove my headphones for a bit. And yeah, I'm gonna have my headphones in off. All right, bunny is good. And I got it. Let's oh go. my god. Oh Wait. my god. That's amazing. Oh, let's go. That is, that is a lot harder than it looks. That's amazing. That is hype. That's All pretty right. really That's good some, gateway. That's something. Yeah. Let's wow. Go. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go. That's and coming up I'm is put another my skip. headphones on, but yeah. Coming up is another skip. Basically, this Luma, you know, it's meant to give you a cutscene, but you can have like four for oh no. Oh Usually, that, yeah. That essentially canceled that so what just happened is that because he couldn't skip the Luma anymore, that loses like around 15-ish seconds, I think. But with the, so um, that, yeah, that, so that kind of that kind of cancels out the time save that he got from Gateway Skip. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, so basically, what happened was I accidentally got a ground pound. Yeah, that was another Luma cutscene skip. 
but like accidentally like didn't get a homing ground pound i just got a regular ground pound so it was like i could have gotten that also that wasn't bad uh right, throw it might be so yeah i'm not that sure was that's insane. A, I'm, I got not, that. I'm not sure if that's a gold or not uh, no that's a 409 which is still really good but All yeah right. four, uh, four, i think it looked like a 407 to me or something like that right uh, it was a 409 on my splits, so yeah, I'll take that number. But yeah, I'm so happy I got that. I've been struggling with that trick for like a good two weeks or so, but like, there's a person in the community called Tibbs. Uh, I call him Tiber, but shout out to Tibbs. He found that setup I just used, and it makes the trick a lot more like, not like more easier, but it makes it a lot more consistent to do. So yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Mind if I discuss uh, star bits for Galaxy in general? Uh, we can do that later. But first, I'd like to explain about um text in this game. This is not like your regular Mario game where you have to like press A or mash text. We actually have to scroll through text, so we're gonna hold A to speed up these text boxes, like that. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. Essentially, the reason we're playing i mean this is pretty obvious if you're a speedrunner but we play on the japanese version of the game because the text uh there's less text and um obviously that saves time saves around 20 seconds or 50 seconds i'm not sure one of the two it saves 50 seconds compared to english virtual console or english text basically and it saves like around two minutes if you were to play on a regular english we which i do yeah, yeah. The Wii U loads a lot faster than the Wii, so it definitely adds up in a category of this length. The faster version nobody really plays on is the 3D All-Stars version because the loads are faster and you also get to play on the fastest text, which is Korean. Actually, but yeah. since we can't get Korean, since Korean's basically banned because of like the accessibility of the copy, and also since we don't have Virtual Console, we just play on Japanese VC. But yeah, I was going to say, I think that might be a little bit of a lie, because uh, I see a lot of 3D All-Stars runners that run this game. Yeah. Uh, there is, I mean, the person we mentioned before, Tibbs, is actually a 3D All-Stars runner. And he has the any percent Mario record right now, doesn't he? Yes, on That's... 3D all -Stars. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty much the only top level 3D All-Stars runner. Also, um, we're in Good Egg 1, so... This first section is pretty interesting, so I'll have X and... X takeover commentary. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, basically what you're supposed to do is use the bridge provided for you, but... We're gonna actually do a trick called Amogus Climb. Amogus Tower Climb! And no. it, it, it lets us get better cycles for these boulders, and it's also just faster in general. Um, the reason it's called a Mogus Climb is because the tower you climb on kind of looks like a character from Among Us. And the galaxy the community is a bunch of uh, memers, so... Everyone in this chat right now is very sus, so it would make mo the most sense. Um, one thing you did see that um, I'm going to mention right now is you saw Ghost use another application of 2P. He held down the boulders and allowed them to crash into each other, and he got a lot of star bits from them. That's another advantage of 2P, is you can hold oh, down enemies no. and boulders. Yeah, I've uh, I've been getting hit a lot by that Octumbo recently, so it's weird. Also, um... I don't know when, when, like, I know I just talked about star bits, so I don't know when a good time is to, like, bring uh, that we up. We can talk about star bits during, uh, Good Egg 2, okay. basically, because that's the most, like, because that's, like, the, um, perfect place to talk about star bits, because we are going to collect star bits in the level. Also, PD, this is, I mean, not PD Piranha, but Dino Piranha. Uh, so the basic idea is to just hit his tail. We're going to hit his tail on the right twice and on the left twice. And I'm going to shoot him down with some star bits and hit him, and that's the fight. Uh, so basically, that pattern is probably the way fastest way to hit him. So yeah. Aside from that Octomb, that was a really good uh, good egg one, so... Good yeah. stuff. Yep, definitely. Like, a lot of the stuff that you're going to see from Galaxies, a lot of other games have these really like flashy movement. 
And besides 2P, you're not really going to get a lot of that in Galaxy. However, you can see that Ghost, you know, Ghost along with many other also, Galaxy runners. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Also, I just want to explain something really quickly. Uh, this is a new strat I recently implemented into runs. Uh, it is really risky, but uh, I have to, like, show it off anyway. Uh, hopefully, something bad doesn't happen. Uh, okay, perfect. So, with that, that black luma is called Polari, and if you hold the 2P cursor with A and stun them, uh, you basically speed up, like, their text box, which saves around a second. Uh, it's been recently added into runs, but it's also really risky because you have the possibility of collecting a star bit, right? And if you collect a star bit the same frame you start the Polari cutscene, you'll actually crash the game. It's happened to a bunch of people, and it's happened to me a lot recently. First example was of Jay. And also a good egg too, Hex. Uh, Miggy, you could probably explain, explain Starbit collecting in this level. Oh, okay, so good egg two is uh, a level where you need to feed Aluma 100 star bits to Aluma. And obviously, you're gonna need a lot of star bits during the run as well. In this route, oh wait, I think you used the going commando route or something like that, Ghost? Yeah. Yeah, so we're tight on star bits. So, what I would I... say is that if. Can I kind of steal a commentary for one second and out something? Yes, perfectly fine. We have hit $1,500, nice. everyone. We're halfway to the goal. Let's go. Nice. Uh, $31, 31 cent donation from Anonymous, no comment. Uh, donating towards uh, Super Mario Sunshine. So, thank you very much. Halfway there, already. Let's go. So, hey, all right, Um, but that was good star bit collection. Uh, Normally, you don't need to collect star bits on that final planet, especially if you are using 2P. Normally, you can just skip, like, the star bit collecting or the crystals on that planet, but... Yeah, that was weird. But, that was still good star bit collecting. And all of that is because we're on a cycle, and the cycle is gonna appear in, like, the next two planets or so. And we'll see if we got a good cycle. I think we'll be on a fine cycle, but, yeah. Oh, so yeah, for what I was gonna say, for this route, you need to collect 1400 star bits in total. This includes uh, 400 star bits from Sling Pod, 400 star bits for Sweet Sweet, and 600 star bits for Drip Drop. Yes. So, I'm actually gonna be collecting some safety bits in Honey Hive 2, just to make this a lot more safer. Because what I normally do is I don't follow the optimal star bit pattern, but I will get... I'll explain a little bit about that later in the run, right now. But, actually, I'll, I'll explain it right now. So, you're gonna see me, if you were paying attention in the previous level, or, um, what is it? If you're paying attention, in the previous level, I collected... 100 star bits right but in this level i'm not collecting any star bits the reason why i'm not collecting star bits in some levels but in other levels is because like mine said we still need to like get star bits for those three levels you mentioned sling pod sweet sweet and drip drop but we don't collect some bits in these levels because what does happen is we do get a notification if we collect a star or coin or like any of those items so we're trying our best to just avoid those. Also, uh, mine, could you explain Honey I Have One for the viewers? Because I'm going to have to focus a bit for this level. Alright, gotcha. So basically, uh, Honey Hive One is essentially this uh, three minute long level that you have to like go through a bunch of planets and stuff. But there's this one trick that you can save around like 40, between 45 seconds and a minute. It's called Honey I Have One Skip. And essentially you wanna go up towards the tree and then do like these, uh, I think slope jumps or whatever. I'm not 100% sure on how the trick goes, but I, because I don't attempt it myself, funnily enough. Yeah. But what I was gonna so. say is that um, basically Ghost is gonna go up towards this like, like plank a wall of planks or something like that and then try and do the honey I have one skip What is what meth? There's a couple of ways to do it. You can either do butt slide Which you need to jump in order to do it also very nice first try. Yeah, very good uh, Speaking of which uh, yeah, there's two ways you can do it. There's butt slide 
which you require a jump to do it, and belly slide, which he, which Ghost just did, where you like yeah. So slide that on setup is actually I crafted that setup, like not to be like pretty self like centered but i actually made that setup up myself because i was having so much trouble with the butt fly that i was just like oh i should just have a good angle and i'll get a belly slide there all the time yeah you got to teach me that because right. that was actually pretty sick and that, that would help me a lot yeah i got you hex also honey i've two is another level uh we're gonna be doing something similar to what we did in honey i've one but we actually have to do it with a weird camera angle so the goal of honey i've two is there's a tower, right? And there are going to be two bugs on there. A baby bug and a Mandy bug. So, yeah. Also, just a small thing. I'm going to be pressing A and pointing my cursor at the top right. It is possible in domes such as this dome to grab the pulsar a lot earlier. But it's only seen in this uh, dome. So, yeah. That's why I do it there. You'll see it also in engine, but that's not like later until the run. But yeah, um, this is going to be, like, very interesting. But yeah, Honey, I have two skip. Basically, you'd have to, normally, you'd have to go through the launch star in order to go through, like, a bunch of obstacles and stuff like that. But what Ghost is going to do is that he's going to entirely skip most of the level by just going up through the tree like he did for Honey, I've won. Except there is actually a tower on top of there that we do want to go on top of, obviously, because that's where the star is. Funnily enough, this trick is called Tower Climb. Um, yeah, pretty... Climb the tower. I guess it's... I mean, that's a duh name, <laughs> because uh, nothing really special to that naming scheme or whatever. Interesting. Right, that was a good tower climb. Also, interesting. Yeah, really you can good. do that with a jump instead of, like, a... I thought you would need, like, specifically a backflip. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so basically that actually is a 2P only strat. The reason why that's more difficult is because the camera is like shifted. So it's like, you have to like react to it pretty quickly. And I think I did that pretty well. Yeah, and I also well. did the 1P jump. Normally I do the 2P jump there, but like I've been screwing it up recently. So I decided to go with the 1P jump for consistency sake. It doesn't make a big difference, but I just wanted to do it so I can get it all the time. Also, Honey Hive 3 is another interesting level. So, we're gonna talk to the Queen Bee, and she's gonna say there's this bug on this island that's causing trouble for the people, and we're gonna beat it. So, normally, you're gonna have to require the bee suit, but we're not gonna beat the boss with a big bee suit. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing a specific 2 piece strat there, which is gonna be like, you're just gonna watch. I'll have Hex explain it, because he probably knows yeah i know i'm saying like i'm gonna have this person explain it but like they these people like hex and mine are like pretty much specialists and what i require them to commentate about yeah it's all planned somewhat yeah i'm the 2p runner and mine is the 1p runner so we trade off in kind of the stuff we talk about also a uh, really quick intro but you're, you're supposed to use the b here as well but like what specific long jumps and a 2p jump at the end you can probably just skip that yeah. this is that possible well 1p but it's extremely hard and it's extremely hard 2p but ghost yeah did a very good job so really hyped to see that all right so honey i have three i'm actually gonna take a bit of time i'm not gonna say much because i do need to focus for this for these two phases yeah, but we can just do a 2B jump there, and this last one, uh, you just see for yourself. Uh, it's yeah, this boss, this boss is definitely tricky, especially for newer runners, because the other strats are really slow, but this is the most optimal way to beat the boss. Uh, that was a really good boss yeah, fight. Yeah, was good. Aside from the first phase, but like, I just screwed it up because of nerves. But yeah, those are like the hardest levels of Terror's done. Round of applause. Now we get to the fun level. So this is loop to loop. I'm going to be collecting a bunch of star bits. But the idea of this uh, is uh, we ride a Manta Wave and I'm going to play a game with chat. So I like to, I know me, Hex, and mine, we all like to do this in our respective chats, but we're going to be doing a guessing game. And whoever guesses the time right on for me will, I will donate about $10 to the charity. 
if anyone gets gets a correct guess. Yeah, I'll donate 20 as well. All right. I will gift uh, you a so, sub. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So, um, yeah. So, I get times between 58 and 59. Just make sure your guess does not end in a 2, 4, 7, or 9. Because those are not valid ending numbers Wait, between for this 58 game. and 59? Yeah. But I've also gotten 57s before, which, is, which would be, like, really good for me. So, Ooh, yeah, nice. chat. Uh, if you want to guess, go ahead. I'm gonna guess, uh, 59.03. Okay. This is a very fun guessing game to do, so... I mean, even if you don't guess, it would, like, really be cool if we got a lot of support from the chat. Anyways, uh, I'm starting. You guys have really good guesses, so, yeah. I'm All going right. to 58.88, I put that in chat. So... Yeah, the reason that you're not um, allowed to guess 2479 is because the in-game timer runs in a way in which it'll never end on those numbers. So Yeah, it has something to do with the frame count. Yeah. Because this timer is, like, really old as well. It doesn't go, like, by milliseconds. It goes by nearest frame. And, like, each frame will skip over those numbers specifically. So, like, 0.016 is one frame. Because this game runs in 60 FPS, so, yeah. No, one second is 60 frames. FPS. Alright. But yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. You guys wanted to guess the 69 at the end. That would be funny. But also that was a good dad's. Also that was good. Any was 58, really good. 56s? Oh, Ooh, oh Packle damn. was close. Oh yeah, Packle was really close. Okay. Just point one twelve off. Point twelve off. But wait, what did you get again? I got a 58.56. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. Packle was the closest. You're nice. Yeah. Also, uh, okay, so Flip Switch is coming up. This is a pretty easy level if I do, like, if I do this movement right. But it's not, like, anything, like, big I'm gonna do. It's just, like, movement intense. Very movement intense. But, yeah. Um, I guess. Alright. Um, but don't worry, guys. We have more opportunities for guessing games. Uh, so there are two more times we can play a game like this with the in-game timer. So we have two more opportunities to guess a good time. So, yeah. I have, um, a proposition for Ghost, but I'll save it later. Because it's in a later level. Yeah. Alright, so... Okay. So I'm basically doing I freeze these platforms. They don't like save any time, but I just do it for simplicity's sake. But that was a really good flip switch. Yeah. I just have to shake into the star. It just makes the cycles a little more comfy. <laughs> and we're actually on a really good pace. If I Ew. actually get like my time saved, this could be a 24. That would be sick. terrorist, which would be insane. But for context, uh, my PB has a 2451 Terrace, and that was really insane. Like, a top runner would get on average, like, a 25-3x, so, yeah, if I get a 24, we'd be, like, really strong PB pace right now. So, yeah. And, uh, Hex, you could explain, uh, this boss fight. Yeah, like the beginning movement. So, this is probably the easiest two-piece skip in the game, because all it requires you to do is just a mid-air two-piece jump. The gravity field for Mega Leg, it needs to support the entirety of the boss fight, and eventually you climb up. So it has to be a really big gravity field, and you can use that to your advantage by Oh, wow. I got an FPJ. Right. Yeah, that's... So what that actually is, is you have a frame where you can land and not see the landing animation. It's pretty much random. You just have to mash and pray. 
but yeah, for some reason, <laughs> yeah, for some reason, the game dev thought like, oh wow, the small planet should have the most busted gravity pull of all time, so that's why we can just do that skip. I mean, I guess how it, big the gravity field is. I guess part. the reason why you would need the gravity field to be that big is because of uh, Megaleg itself. Megaleg is very big, so you would need a really big gravity right. field in order to like. So thank you, not Nintendo, completely... for making that gravity like really busted so yeah, yeah. otherwise so, you uh, would... this would be a great oh yeah uh, so for the mega like fight we just have to hit this twice and we're done with the fight so if you can fit in some donations that would be pretty cool because this would be like a good time to do so don't got any donations but i can go ahead and plug that we have about oh, i'll say about two TV. hours left before uh, the end of one of the upcoming incentives for Super Mario Sunshine, uh, we have the ability for you to change the, uh, the uh, Mario's outfit. And we haven't met that just yet. Uh, I think we're still around $100 left to go, or a little less than $100 left to go. Uh, so get your donations in for that. Also, if you donate at least $7 until the end of this run, uh, you are put in for a raffle for Super Mario 3D All Stars. Can't get that game very easily anymore. No, <laughs> Nintendo stopped making it. They don't like Mario, apparently. They're like, man, we don't want this anymore. Uh, good luck finding it on eBay for good prices. Wait, um, what game? 3D All Stars, mine. 3D All Stars. Oh, yeah. They're like, uh, speaking of 3D All Stars, uh, I would like to mention some differences between why people play on the Wii U VC version and the 3D All Stars version. So, uh, 3D All Stars. Um, it's like the more friendlier version to run on because uh, a lot of changes again loads text and also the cursor makes it pretty easy to collect star bits like the cursor is like busted like by five times so it's a lot stronger in that sense and however it does come with some disadvantages like no no notches on the joy cons and also a trick we're gonna do later known as surface swimming is also pretty difficult yeah. So, I always found it easier. I ran out through Yossos at a point, but I, I seem to be in the minority for that opinion. Oh, yeah. The Wii VC version is like the more popular version because we played on it for so long. So that's why Top Runners stick to the VC. Mm. I was like, the. I was like. I think I might be the outlier compared to every single a uh, lot of runners that run this game because I started out with the English disc <laughs> version in August 2018 and to this day I still run on that version. Yeah, and also uh, here's um, Space Junk 1. So anyone want to explain Space Junk yeah. 1 skip? Yeah, I can go I for it. it. So basically, this is uh, one of the more annoying skips in the game just because it can just choose to not work on any given day but basically if you change luigi's orientation and you let go at the correct time you can just fly to a later part in the level and yeah. goes got it first try hey, it, you made that look easy but it definitely can choose to not cooperate so but then just for really a good. quick show off uh you're supposed to you're supposed to hit a bunch of these crystals with these toads in it but we can just do a 2p jump and backflip and just skip that entire section. Yeah. That skip is also possible. That skip is also possible with one P, but you would have to do a setup called Sludgy Hop, where you get uh, specific. You jump on specific slopes, and those resulting slopes give you like a really big like jump for the triple. So it's like mega on. triple, like Hex explained at the beginning of the run. It's pretty difficult. So yeah. Like, yeah, that's that's one of the more consistent mega triples in the game. But even then, it can be really finicky. Also, that was a really good space junk. Yeah, um, I was about to say that I got a 24 exit, 2458. So, like, I think I'm, like, pretty... Yeah, I'm, like, 14 seconds ahead of my PB. Nice. So, we could possibly PB. But I would be insane. Again, it's a marathon. But, Sick. so, like, I'm not going to expect that much. And also, we have, like, two of the hardest levels coming up soon. So, it's, we can't say it's over till it's over. All right, um, Space Junk 2. What can I say about this level? Uh, 
It's very movement intensive, and we also have a Camella. We also fight Camella on this level, and Camella actually is very interesting in the what in what pattern she throws. So once you launch up the game, Camella has like a set pattern. We have, but like before the run started, I actually manipulated this pattern so that she throws all shells. Because what Camella can do is she can throw a fire and then a shell, which will lose time. So yeah, I manipulated this fight um, before the run started to get good cycles. Yeah, it stays about I could also, 10 seconds. I could have also been like more funny and just been like Camilla's RNG and like <laughs> say, oh, let's just hope for good RNG, Camilla RNG. But yeah, definitely. But yeah. There's a trick in the run where we uh, set up Camilla by manipulating the RNG before we even on a set uh, before. I mean, it's not really RNG, but we set up Camilla in such a way where where every single time, uh, every single phase, you get a green shell, and you do that like before starting your run. Also, uh, you saw me bring a red shell into the fight. That's kind of... Actually, I don't even know if it's slower. It's probably the same speed as taking the green shell into the fight, but I do that because the red shell will always hold me down Capella. And, like, it would be, like... It's, like, a really consistent strategy. Uh, that was weird. Yeah, I was... I didn't know why that didn't throw, but it's whatever, I guess. All right, uh, that was still a good space junk. Oh, oh sure. We we'll got four dollar twenty cent donation from Zenos three sixty saying nice. Uh, nice. The counter before was back to a nice even number. Now it's not. Now it's one thousand five hundred four dollars and twenty cents. So, yeah, thank you, Zenos. Chaos ensues. Awesome. Um, What's next? Space Junk 3. Okay, this is actually one of the hardest levels in the run, in my opinion. And this is one of the two levels that is in this route that you wouldn't usually do. And basically, it's just a very, like, it's not a movement intensive level, but it's very technical because there's a lot of things you have to deal with. And there's a pretty tricky boss fight at the end that can really screw you over. But, it's going to be um, hard to yeah. do, but let, I'll try my best to have an acceptable boss fight. This boss fight isn't hard, but it's just finicky to get used to because everything's happening so fast. But, yeah, I'll try my best. Also, a really cool thing you can do here is Luigi's hitbox can extend under the ground. So, if you just continuously spam crouch, you can extend his hitbox and get the launch star, which skips having to go into the death section. And then you're going to see the first use of sling pods. Trust me, we'll get very familiar with these things later. But you're going to use them pretty much just to go over to the boss planet. They uh, can be not fun at times, but... You know, in this level, they're not really that bad. Uh, we may see Ghost go for... Yep, we're going to see Ghost go for a 2P jump to just skip one of them and get to a planet early. Oh, uh, I don't think that's going to be good. That's going to be really hard to do. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get the strat. We'll see what Actually, happens. Um, that should be fine, right? Uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty difficult to do. So, okay. Yeah, that sucks. This boss is really hard. Definitely, you know, oh. one of the, the harder. Yeah, I fucked up that. Oh, sorry. No, you're I good, you're good, you're good. All right, but yeah, I screwed up that phase. The thing is, uh, you have to hit Karen Talks first in that specific position. Otherwise, he won't, like, oh my god. Uh, yeah. Space Junk 3 is, like, one of the worst levels. It's probably my least favorite in the entire run. Yeah, this level's hard. It's just, like I said, very technical and a lot of stuff can go wrong. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm losing a bit of time, sadly, but it's whatever. Still also, pretty solid. Also, funny trivia about this boss is that uh, Terran talks is a she because in the Spanish version, it says, uh, 
on the Spanish version, and I'm gonna translate it here. It says, "A queen teratox and her larvae." And her larvas, and that's actually really interesting. I didn't even know. Yeah, about I didn't that. know that either. Yeah, that uh, the Spanish version, which uh, I played on for a little bit as a kid, and um, that that basically proves that Terrantox is in fact a she. Also, uh, Sling, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna mute myself for this boss fight, but oh, not boss fight, but this level. But I am gonna like just cut my audio. I'm not gonna listen to audio. So like, uh, Hex, I'll have you guys explain this while I focus. So this level pretty much has all of the things that make a tough level in speedrunning: motion controls, cycles, and punishing deaths. But it, the problem is, this is one of the fastest levels in the run. Um. It's very tough, but when pulled off correctly, it looks so okay. cool. So I'm just gonna let Ghost's gameplay do the talking, All right. and uh, hopefully we see a good sling pod. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. All right. Yeah. That's early on. That's okay. It happens. Unfortunately, now the cycles are gonna be. Just a little bit messed up. Oh, good. Still a fun level. Also, the uh, interesting thing about this level is that in 120 stars, you would have to grind for star bits because yeah, sometimes you don't get all of the stars. I don't bits. even know what oh happened. Oh my there. god. What the oh, heck was oh, that? Oh, what? What the what? I don't that? even know. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Good <laughs> nice gracious. Oh, holy I... shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. That was the all best right. save I have ever seen. Wow. Freaking yeah, I, class. I tried to like play that as like as best as possible. Like those levels always go wrong, so it's like whatever. Also, uh yeah. Those two hardest levels are over, so we got like one of the easiest levels in the game. So yeah. This is just an auto scroller, so if you guys have anything to say, like uh oh, wrong level. Well, technically, you can skip it. It's it's pretty much... It's very rarely seen outside of world record level play. Just because of how hard it is. It requires another mega triple, but this one's like the most precise you could imagine. Yeah. Battle rock out of bounds. So I, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it was recently discovered and you can basically get a mega triple to escape the gravity from the saucer and you can use the rocks below kind of where you're going to be moving to slope climb all the way to the end but it's it's very hard definitely like one of the hardest tricks in mario speed running and i don't say that lightly yeah i'm not even gonna go for it so this is just an auto scroller so, um, uh, if anyone has anything to say, this would be a perfect time. I think we have, I think we explained pretty much everything yeah. that needed to be explained. There's something awesome. Else really, I, don't think. I can probably, like, just talk about, like, some stuff as well. So, um, there's a lot more to this game. So, like, generally, like, about movement, right? So, I'm gonna talk a bit about the movement. So. Uh, optimally, I usually just like do long jumps, like long jump chains, and a bunch of levels. But there are some levels where it's actually faster to not do long jumps. So that's just like on curved planets because gravity is a big factor in like what you can and can't do in this game, right? So it's best to just like mess around with that for a bit. Also, yeah. Yeah, gravity, you know, plays a huge part in this game. And that's Battle Rock 1. 
Yeah, there we go. Feel oh, nice. Uh -oh. Pretty solid. Oh, those girls are worth. Yeah. In my opinion, the best music in the the best music in the game. Fair opinion. Yeah, I accidentally I should have just hit that Goomba instead of just like waiting for it. But yeah. Um. All right. Another level, if anyone has anything to say, or donations, probably, if you guys have any. But yeah, Space Chunk C is like the same as just Space Chunk 1, so nothing really going on in here. Yeah. Um, Definitely, um, you, we'll see the skip again, which is cool. But can we get two for two? That would be pretty cool if we couldn't get two for two. So here we got um, basically Space Junk 1, but on a timer. You have four minutes to complete this level. So It's a lot scarier, too, because if you die anywhere, you kind of just end up at the beginning of the level. Oh, yeah, that's the property with... Like... That's the property with uh, comments in this game, is that if you die anywhere, you go back to the very beginning of the level. No exceptions. Nice Space Junk 1 again. Or oh, skip again. Yeah, let's go. Uh... But yeah, uh, again, you can just skip this toad section uh, with doing a triple jump into the star. The fastest version is just doing a grounded 2B jump into the sling star, but yeah, that's also another alternative you could use. Um, so about comets in this game, uh, comets are basically what this route is entirely about. So in specific, so the comet cycle started once we completed Sling Pod, or once we, or once Rosalina introduced us to the Comet Luma. So we're gonna get comets like this appear like throughout the run, and they appear on every odd star. So we were out this in such a way we can get like a comet because some comets in this game are pretty fast stars. So yeah, that's the history behind comets and why we get them. Also, we have Rolling Green coming up. Uh, this is the first level to introduce the ball mechanic. So, with the ball, you're just gonna roll around in the... You're just gonna roll around, right? And... That's all. Yeah, right. it's not too much. There's a little bit of a skip you can do at the beginning, but... It, you know, like, it's another one of those levels where the gameplay kind of just speaks for itself. I think this is the last level before we go on to Bowser 2, though, right? Bow yes. Okay, nice. Bowser 1 is actually really interesting because... Yeah, we'll Bowser. explain a bunch of stuff once we get there, but... Yeah, Bowser 1 is a really interesting level. There's a lot that is going on in that level, too, so it'll be pretty fun to explain. So I think I should be fine on star bits, but yeah, here's the shortcut, uh, just hold down right and you should make it every time. Alright, um, you're gonna, s additionally something I don't know if I already talked about is I, I try to intentionally avoid coins and star bits and levels I don't need to get them because there are text, the text that appears like after the after I complete the level, like you've got this many star bits, those lose around a second. So at a top level, it's just best to like avoid star bits if you don't need to get them in certain levels. But yeah. yeah. All right, Bowser one. So the first thing you're gonna see me do is a death warp at the beginning. And that's going to be saving us a bit of time. So apparently the death, like, plane for the upper part of the level. So, okay, I'll explain that once we get in here. Alright. It's, it's a lot, but, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so you can actually, yeah, the ghost already started talking about this, but I can pick up. Um, you can skip the first part of the level by dying in a specific spot. It doesn't really even save that much time, but it's cooler. And a lot of, you know, you know, usually in marathon runs we do this whole, oh, if you die in this level, you soft lock and lose the run, and then you die, we go, oh, no, but, you know, we're, we're, we're going to take more of a, this oh, one we no. Kind of, um, we, this one we kind of go, oh, no, kind of sarcastically, because this one's actually intentional. <laughs> Yeah, I was I went back because the death plane there was really weird. Like if your camera appears behind that pipe, you were not gonna get the death warp. So that's yeah. why I kind of just went back. And oh, um, that's never happened to me before. Whatever. Oh, what? I, mean, I made. That was yeah. weird. Uh, so about that, um, those are like backwards long jumps. Not like the 64 ones, but like those happen weirdly when you're in different gravity schemes. So I will. Okay. Also, uh, let's see if I can get this. I'm gonna triple jump into the trigger, skipping like going around the entire boss fight or like entire area. Or like, yeah, you have to climb up some, some stairs. Okay. This trick is 2P only. Yeah, you can't do this one, P. All right, now we're introduced to the main antagonist of every Mario game, Bowser. So Bowser in this game operates pretty weird differently. What we're trying to do is make him land on these blue spots, which are actually like lava areas. So that's what we want to do. And I'm gonna hit Bowser so that, he, so like, I'll have X, X, X explain it because my brain's not working right now. Yeah, so basically what you can do is if you hit Bowser's tail when he's doing his attacks, you can just pretty much skip the attack cycle and he'll just start to do his pounce, which you can kind of just, it's the attack that allows you to hit him. So it's not really an attack, but um, it saves a lot of time throughout the course of the fight. Yeah, and in this level specifically, you can also go towards his face in order to cancel out the stomping cycle. It is a little bit harder, I think. I'm not yeah, sure. because especially in this fight, the hitbox for Bowser is like really small, so it's oh, so pretty you, hard. Yeah. How do you go around him? like that in a few frames? Like you go across his entire body. How do you do that? So I just basically crouch under him. I actually saw um. Hardcore, so shouts to one of the few former world record holders, uh, Hardcore Gaming 07. I saw him do that strat, which where he literally just crouches under Bowser and lands there. So, yeah. If you crouch under him, you can just basically go over him or like under him and you can easily hit his tail like that, which is what I did there. Yes, it's not a really very good fountain because of the mistakes in Sling Pod, but it's fine. Um, I don't mind it really. Yeah, it's still uh, good overall. The Sling Pod stuff, it, I mean, like, it happened, but definitely, you know, solid overall. That was a really good save, though, because, that, uh, yeah. But I've never done that before. Even in attempts, I try to save that, but it just doesn't go well. But it's like, it went well. So, yeah, happy. All right, um, Beach Ball 1. So, Kitchen, this is the third dome. So, uh, I forgot to t talk about this, but the main, like, worlds in this game are called domes. So, these domes contain the galaxies and they have stars. And that's, like what we normally do so we get like specific stars in each of these domes because of like speed and stuff so yeah yeah and there's also a minimum requirement in which you need to access those domes for or uh, for like leaving the dome to access the boss level to leave that dome so for terrace you need eight stars to access bowser jr one 15 for Bowser 1, 23 for Bowser Jr. 2, 33 for Bowser 2, 45 for Bowser Jr. 3, and 60 for Bowser 3. Yeah. So, there are six domes. Uh, there is the Terrace Dome, the Fountain Dome, which we completed just now. The Kitchen Dome, we're right in. The Bedroom Dorm, and the Engine Room Dorm. There's also the Dorm... There's also the... 
dome garden. at the end of the run, which is called the garden, but that's not accessible until like later in the game. Yeah, and, and we wouldn't we wouldn't do garden in any percent anyway because it contains a lot of really slow stars. It's usually only done in 120 stars. Because you also that because, was Beach Bowl one. <laughs> because duh, you collect every single star in the game, so you need to go to every single location in the game. Very fast. Also, that was Beach Bowl one. Very fast. Yeah, level. so basically what I what the goal of that level is you're supposed to get five star chips under the water and get a launch star up there and go around and get that crystal, but with some zuby jumps we can just skip that section. Oh, so this is Beach Bowl 2. This is the um first level to introduce swimming. And in this game swimming is really interesting. So if anyone wants to explain that while I do this, uh go ahead. So swimming in this game is done by shaking in the water and what you're going to see later is you can do a special type of swim where you can get stuck on the surface and do pretty much infinite shakes and you get a lot of speed and it's really fast. You'll see it more later. But um, then this level, it's just kind of like an intro to swimming. You have to get a shell in the water and give it to the penguin and yeah. It's, a, it's very short. It's like one of the shorter levels in the game. This is one of the downsides to using 2P because for swimming you have to just shake the remote and, you know, it, it, shaking two remotes is obviously harder than shaking one. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'll do in the, what I'll do for that level is I'll actually detach my Wiimotes for a bit. Yeah, also, I don't know so, if this has been mentioned yet, but when you're swimming underwater, Luigi uh, loses air a lot faster than how fast uh, Mario loses air so that can be and yeah. that can be become pretty nerve-wracking in some levels yeah but for the most part it's like we have enough health anyway so it's yeah also one thing I think that was not mentioned is if you hold a you continuously shake in the water so it's faster to hold a and do the swim instead of just shaking continuously also, Beach Bowl 3, uh, we start off with the water level, but we actually go into a separate, like, planet where there is a bunch of enemies called Tox Boxes, and these Tox Boxes will actually kill you if you're under them in a very weird way, like there. Those are the Tox Boxes I was mentioning about. Alright, um... Yeah, they're, 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 this is like, you know, you'll see this level twice, so it's not really anything crazy. There is a skip, but it's, there are two versions of this skip. I want to get the cool one because I've been making this consistent and it would be really cool to get. So in this, in that planet, you can actually skip the final area. You can just long jump right over to that end. Yeah. With the also, precise. Also, interesting thing about this level is that um, if you do Beach Bowl 3 first before doing the secret, you get some pretty tight cycles that I can't even execute. Because uh, the other way of doing this level is that you can do the secret first and then do Beach Bowl 3. Oh. And if you do it that way, you get way easier cycles. Uh oh. I tried to go for the ledge grab strat, which is infinitely hard. Yeah. But, yeah. It's all good. Let, we have one more chance to get in Comet, but Comet is actually a lot more risky and it doesn't save that much time, unfortunately, but yeah. Uh. Whatever. That's alright. Um. It sucks, but whatever. It'll be good. Alright. With those levels out of the way, we can take a bit of a breather now with, um, Bubble Breeze. Oh yeah, I don't know if I should share this here, but there's this inside joke that some of us have where this runner named, uh, what, Ghost, should I mention it? Uh, that's fine. I'm all for shouting out people. Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna say because I don't know if we want to do this on speed docs or something like that, but we have this inside joke with this run uh, other 
3D Mario brother named Mid Bro. He died a bunch of times in this level, and we just kind of like <laughs> make a me made a meme out of that. <laughs> yep. Also, um, I don't know if this is okay. So we're gonna see those star chips. We're actually gonna be using the bubble to get these. So with the bubble, you just hold A to give the bubble a bit of a boost. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. that's what's gonna go yeah. happen actually. All right, so right over here, we're gonna use this bubble to push ourselves like that. And if we do this perfectly, we might be able to make a fast like at the end. I don't think I'll be able to make it, so I'll take some time to just breathe. Um, yeah. So we're supposed to go around here, which is like pretty difficult with the bubble, even casually. So we're just gonna get, we're just gonna backflip up here and to be jumping to the star. And that saves a bunch of time over doing that casually. Yeah. It's also a lot easier. It saves a lot of time. All right, Beach Ball S. Uh, there's gonna be a risky strat I'm gonna go for called Iceless. So if you get this, I'll donate we're gonna 30. All right. Sorry, don't mean to put Anyone? pressure. No worries. Uh, yeah. So this level is like, it's it's probably the most recent strat in the run, and it's also pretty difficult. Like barely, I don't think world record holder does it. Uh, the world record holder for this game is Jay, and I don't think he does it. He doesn't do so, it either. Uh, Iceless. So the strat I'm about to do. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this. And, uh, I'm a man of my word, so if you get this, I'll donate 30 to the docs. This strat is insane. You're supposed to grab the to... All right, one, two, three. We're gonna first get over here with this Cataquack. Uh, okay, um... Okay, so that's the hard part over. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you need to back up on top of there. And we can just skip using that ice Goodness flower over gracious. there. Oh my god. Th th this is like... This is just kind of shows how far Galaxy Speedrunning has come. And that's, that's the strat. Oh my god. Like, this is insane. Th Yo. This is just like... I I I'm in awe because I actually have not seen this strat done ever so i'm just kind of very very surprised <laughs> that, that, that the fact that it was hitting a run is just like even more insane the first to ever do it also uh yeah that was actually second try for that especially is really good but i'll be losing time later in free slim one where we get the ice flower so yeah it's gonna be kind of phase time loss but we're entering ghostly one uh this level is very interesting so the goal of this uh, of this level is to is basically the level where we unlock luigi but we're already playing as luigi so there's going to be some pretty funny dialogue here that is unfortunately ruined because of the japanese text but if you translate it it's just luigi saying oh it's me it's -a me, Luigi. Oh, perhaps I can read it, what it says, because I happen to play on the English version, so... Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, let's see if I can get this strat. This is pretty difficult movement. Alright, we got the first part, which is the hardest part, the boot kill. Also, that was really good. All right, so we're gonna actually do a bit of a shortcut. If you see, if you play this game casually, you go into the mansion, but we're actually gonna clip into the mansion in a way that allows us to go to the end of the, to allow us to access Luigi pretty early on. Yeah, there's a higher level skip you can do here called Boolean, but it's in extremely hard, so. Yeah. You, only only top runners go for it. Yeah. And it doesn't save that much too. 10 seconds, it sounds like a lot, but setting it up 
fast and doing it fast, it's really difficult. But that yeah. was a really good, uh, that was a really good, uh, ghostly one. Uh, also, I think that's holding. Yeah, for me. what it says for Luigi, uh, what Luigi says here is, oh my, are you me? Well, I guess there's not enough people in the universe for someone to look like me. Anyway, I found a power star. Let's take it back. Yeah, so now there's going to be text for Luigi, and I'm actually going to have someone... Okay, so just remind me to get Luigi. I, I know I'll tell myself to do it in my head, but, like, I need to get Luigi. Luigi is the most important part of this fade run, and I'll explain why. Ah. Oops. Yeah. Please get Luigi. All right, Hex, thank you. So the reason why Luigi is so important is because once we talk to Luigi, we'll actually start a bunch of cycles where Luigi will actually help us look for stars that we may not know about. Ghosts, get Luigi. All right. Luigi! All right, I'm getting it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, thank you, mine. I, I, I know. All right, I'm long jumping over to Luigi, so we should be fine. But we're actually talking to Luigi, so we can actually have him help us with collecting power stars, and he will help us with collecting power stars for because they'll be really fast. So yeah, and I'm gonna feed some Starbits to Luma to get into Sweet Sweet. So this is like your stereotypical, like what people stereotypically think of Galaxy, just like your long jump simulator, like. Let's count the amount of long jumps we do. Right, like to show go. how many long jumps there are in this level. So one. My stream two, might be a bit delayed. Three. Four. So one. Five, two. Six, three. Seven, four. Right. Five. Six. Seven. Not this mod. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, that's a jump, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, that was really good. 25, 26, I got 26. Yeah, there are 26, I was counting in my head, so yeah, that was a lot. This has been counting with the mine 2001. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So good at Gal. This is probably one of the hardest stars in the run. Yeah, this is a run killer for sure. Uh, I agree. All right. If you don't get this, I'm gonna have to enough. focus. So let's just let's just be quiet for like this next uh, second or so. Thanks, guys. Come on. All right. This is the also, hardest star. Ooh, and again, nice I'm bounce right there. Let's go. Yeah, I came up with a strat a bit ago. So yeah. All right. Let's hope we don't screw this up. This is gonna be pretty hard, all right? Okay. One of the hard parts are over. Okay, what can happen? Second ha hard part's over. What can actually happen there is that if you're not careful, it, while you're spamming right. A, we you got can up to actually- the tower. That was the hardest part of the Well story. done! All right, that Let's was tough. Go. Thank you. Hardest thank you, level in the game I'll right take here. a bow. All right. And we backflip into the star just for what I was, points. Okay. What I was gonna say there is that this is gonna happen once more in the run, I think. I think it's one more time. But if you're not careful, while you're spamming A, can actually uh, select the next star, which you probably don't want. So in this yeah, case, it's happened you don't to me a lot. Actually, it's, it's happened it to happened, me like it happens two more times in the run. Uh, once in for when you're going into Ghost of Secret and another time when you're going into Toy Time Secrets. So yeah, yeah if so you're not... I have to make sure to select those stars instead of auto-selecting, which, by the way, if you don't point your cursor at the screen and just spam A, you auto-select a star. Yeah, uh, well, at least a star that you haven't done yet, which is in gray. And if you're not careful, well, you can lose like 30 or 40 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna try and focus during those parts. Also, Honey Hive C, uh... This is... We're gonna take a bit of a shortcut here to complete the level faster, so... If we just go around this area, jump here... 
wait there, spin there, and then we can just get to the, we can just get over here faster in Shadow Mar or Cosmic Mario or Luigi, and we just get there immediately. All right, Beach Bowl C. Let's see if I can redeem myself. All right, so I'm gonna try to do the strat first try. Hopefully, I can. But yeah. Can I take a quick moment for a donation? Yes, go ahead. Uh, I have uh, one of the commentators in here, Hex. Uh, he donated $30, <laughs> as promised. Yeah. Amazing skill. God damn. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you, Hex. I'll never forget that. That skip is... Yeah. That is a skip for sure. Also, for everyone watching still, uh, just um, plugging this real quick. Uh, about an hour and a half left for Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, pretty much choosing a new, a different Mario costume. We have like $94.49 left on that incentive. So if you would like a different Mario costume for that run, get your donations in. Get, come on, guys. The co the outfit is a really cool outfit. As someone who's completed the game casually, like, it's a great outfit. It's one of sunglasses, isn't it? Yeah, it has sunglasses. Yeah, it's, it's like, cool. I was planning on getting one of those outfits before college started, but, um, yeah, I didn't have time. And they're really expensive, too. Also, uh, here's the trick. I'm probably gonna have to do the wall jump, yeah. Alright, so that's how the shortcut should go normally, but, yeah, that was good. Also, we're coming up to Ghostly 2, so... Again, this is another level where you can guess your time, so, yeah. If you get your guesses right, uh, I will donate $10 to charity. If anyone guesses right. But yeah, get your guesses in. I get around 41 seconds to 46 seconds in this game, but you can guess, like, anywhere in the 40-second region. It would be pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not actually sure what, like, a good guess is for this level. Yeah, because, like, the ranges are, like, all over the place, but my worst time I've gotten is a 46, and my best time is a 41. So that's why I'm saying, like, anywhere from that region. Like, also, make sure I don't get... This level, especially, it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, the race surfing level, that's kind of automated, and, like, you only lose little chunks at a time. This one, it's pretty execution-based, so it's, like, it yeah, definitely adds for a lot more variance. Cool stars. Oh, yeah. And also, it's a bit of RNG based on how much you're Speaking gonna of which turn, goes, What especially. time do I guess for this one? Anywhere from the 41 to 46 region. I'm gonna right, go. Yeah. I'm gonna guess, get your guesses um, in. Forty-four. What is it? What were you gonna guess? I'm going forty-three point forty-four. Oh wait, you can't wait, do wait, two, four, two four seven. Four, you two, can't four, do seven nine. <laughs> two, Come four, on! Seven, nine. Right. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, looks looking good so far. So I'm might gonna be guess forty-four point uh, four I can't believe I did that. I made the biggest rookie mistake. So this this is very off topic, but goddamn, there's so many good concerts oh, here wow. tonight. Really good. That was really good. Yeah, I was. Forty-two point oh five. Goddamn. Wow. Damn, let's go. That, that is really good. Yeah. That was point five behind my best. So yeah, that was pretty good. Ghostly S. Uh, this is Ooh. one of the. This yeah, Hex, I'll level. let you explain it. You're so, excited to... This is arguably one of my favorite skips. And the reason why it's so cool is because essentially this level is an auto-scroller. Yet, you can skip it. Because basically what it is, it's, is it's like a moving... It's a part of the level that becomes visible, that moves. However, the level is still solid no matter if you trigger the auto-scroller or not. So you can also, essentially just blindly move through the level... Um, as if you clicked it, but 
the thing is, it's really hard because the background doesn't really give you any indication. So it essentially looks like you're just walking on nothing. You'll it's see It's a lot it. easier on 2P than it is 1P. Yeah, this is like, possible 1P, but it's mainly done 2P. All right, so here it comes. I'm also gonna use a bunch of long jumps to skip using keys. Skip taking these keys over here. Yeah. So yeah, um... Yeah. Almost there. Oh, God. We, let's just go here. Perfect. First try. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's definitely one of the coolest looking skips in the game. Yeah, there's a version where you can do it for 1P as well. And we're actually almost done with, um, we're almost done with this level. Yeah. Kitchen? Or, yeah, we're done with Kitchen. Here's the Bowser Jr. fight, the second Bowser Jr. fight. What I'm going to do right off the bat is we're going to be using cannons to get over here. But, like, the goal of this is, again, like, you're going to use cannons to shoot yourself around to different airships. But at the beginning, I'm going to be doing a cannon shot right to, like, the last airship. So skip a bunch of the air the level. So, um... This a cannon shot is also pretty difficult because one like if I don't time this right, I will just go straight into the void and die. There's a good good enough visual cue for it, but there's always that risk. Yeah, that will be fine. So what I'm doing there is I'm holding Z and spamming A. If you hold Z, you zoom out the camera so you can easily like time your shot like that and spam. And uh, coming up is probably the most annoying boss fight in the game. This level has more enemies than a nine-year-old Mario Maker 2 level. Um, and <laughs> it's, it's literal <laughs> enemy spam. <laughs> but this pattern I'm doing should avoid like all of that, hopefully. Two. Wait, Hex, how far ahead is your stream compared to mine? Um, I mean, I'm watching the Discord, so we're already in the fight. Oh, I'm, right, al I'm um, also watching it through the Discord, but it feels like oh, you're way um, farther ahead of me than you actually are. Weird. Oh, that was kind of scary, so... Uh-oh. Yeah, like, I, this level... Yeah. The, the thing about it is, is there's a very consistent way to do it. However, if one thing goes wrong, then everything goes wrong. So yeah, that, like, that's the thing. If you miss that shell, especially like all those bullets and Kamek attacking you, it's a, it's like, it's like a fever dream. It's difficult, impossible yeah. per se. But we got past it. That's cool. All right, we're almost done. We're halfway through the run. Give it up. Yep. Oh, 30 stars. Pretty much halfway there, living on a prayer. So, the... Ah, I love that song. Take my hand. We'll I don't know the it. rest of the song. We'll make it there. <laughs> um, All right, so... Yeah. Um, remember how I told you guys that Luigi's gonna be like really important in the speedrun? So we're gonna talk to Toad and he's going to give us a letter about uh, Luigi finding a star in Battle Rock. So apparently he got stuck in a cage, which I don't even know is possible for Luigi. So we're going to rescue him, but while we're doing that, we're gonna also talk to... We're also gonna get a star in between. So we're gonna get Hurry... This is Hurry Scurry Galaxy which is a really quick galaxy. And it just so happens to be in the fountain. So out of convenience sake, we're just getting this. So yeah.
Also, something I forgot to mention. I've been doing this a lot, but you're gonna see me go in a first person and come out of first person every time I land on a planet that isn't the first galaxy or this or this first planet, right? Yeah. Also, good at VJ. Yeah. That's because of Ooh, nice. we actually canceled the landing really early, which is called the camera cancel. It saves a good amount of time, like that. Yeah. How much does and it save instantly... for each camera cancel? Because it might be like half a second or something like that. Half a second to like one second in some cases. So like it saves around. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the average and say it saves around three quarters of a second each which may not sound like much but keep in mind you're gonna be doing probably two or one or two hundred of these over the course of a run probably close to a like lot of minutes dave yeah so you're gonna be saving a bunch of time if you just do camera cancels <laughs> also right. battle rock l is the same as battle rock one we just are doing this like very similarly so yeah if you guys have any donations to read this would also be a good time because this is again like battle rock one and battle rock one is an auto scroller so this is just going to be another place for me to chill oh i almost forgot to get that unfortunately I don't have any uh, donations right now but uh just so everyone is aware uh speed dogs and supporting save the children all proceeds from this uh from this event go straight to them uh and with that if you were able to donate you get some nice incentives which one of them being or prizes rather was one of them being uh uh super mario 3d all-stars it closes at the end of this very run so you have a little over an hour left to get it, uh, your your donations in Wait, for seven for seven dollars. Super Mario 3D All Stars again. It's seven dollars to get it, uh, get into that raffle. Uh, yeah, if you guys are planning on running this game too. Yeah, I was about to say it would be a great version to run on. The caveat so. is, if you win, you must speed run Super Mario Galaxy and all the other games on it. Maybe yeah. not 64, because 64 sucks on the 3D All Stars <laughs> version. But. Let's be honest, there's, there's, there's enough 64 runners anyway. Let's get some more love on Sunshine oh, yeah. and Galaxy, right? Yeah. Even Sunshine getting a little cramped. I think Galaxy, I think we're, oh, well, a couple more Galaxy runners are in order. But yeah, if you're gonna speedrun 64, please speedrun it on the Wii Virtual Console. It's so much faster than the N64 version. There's literally zero lag. It's also pretty difficult too because of the dead zones, but but yeah. Oh, that, oh, okay, okay. All right. Um, uh, that's sort of that one. Bad. That's sort of one caveat. That's been happening too. to me a lot recently, so. All right. What I was gonna say is there's only yeah there is one small caveat to running on Wii Virtual Console, and that is that you have a somewhat whack dead zones, but. In this, in that game, of the positives largely outweigh the negatives here, so it's definitely worth it to run on. Oh yeah. Also, um, uh, I was about to make a really big mistake. I was actually gonna oh, get no. the first Battle Rock Star instead of the Luigi Star, so Ooh, good that I kind of just good. like, yeah, it's actually happened to some people. I know Flygon did it once in his 120 run by accident, and it it loses a lot of time because. You have to do the level over again, which is like two minutes lost. So thankfully I avoided that. Yeah. It is Luigi. <laughs> Rescuing ourselves. What universe are we living in, you know? Or like, Chugga, uh, or like Chugga Conroy said in his uh, casual playthrough of this game series, is, is he calls it the alternate universe Luigi, so yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, so... Yeah the freeze flame one now we're in bedroom and this is honestly it's largely considered to be everyone's least favorite dome however i think that for a marathon it's really cool because there's a lot of stuff yeah to all the strats here are fun but like when you're on here in pb pace it's awful like you're either gonna play this like 
near perfectly or you're just gonna hate yourself like playing this game but yeah uh so this is free slam one as heck said our goal of this is to beat um this baron burr guy at the top of the at the top of this mountain so we're gonna try and get there as fast as possible all right so i'm gonna do a triple jump over here um that's not good yeah that, that's also not good i i backed that up thankfully well so that's nice yeah, so like there, I got the Ice Flower text because normally you're supposed to get in beat OS, but since I went for the skip, I just decided to. I got that by accident. Oh, so, so we're gonna be losing a bit of time. Uh, what Ghost just performed is like a skip that you can do with the Ice Flower, in which you can skip the like the auto scroller platforms. It saves a couple of seconds, and it's pretty easy to go for it too. Really uh, easy. I'm gonna slip but... in here real quick to announce something. We have a one. $100 no. donation. Oh my god. Short. Oh wow. We got a $100 donation oh from Short with, uh, with no comment. And with that, the Super Mario Sunshine special Mario costume incentive has been met. So thank nice. you so very much. Awesome. Let's All go, right. dude. And with that, we have $1,634. So thank you very much for Yo, everyone who has donated gelato, so far. Gelato B skip? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, CJ or CC is gonna do it. Hopefully, I would be surprised if CC just skipped Gelato Beach. The skip, you know, I'm just not doing it at all. Anyways, like, here's Free Sun 2. This is also a very bad level because I have the possibility of dying anywhere in here. So, it's interesting. Also, you're gonna see me get like not many star bits. One complicated thing about star bits in this game is in some levels, especially in the section with all the levels, especially in uh, bedroom, it loses time to it doesn't lose time to get star bits if you get 18 of them. Because after 18 star bits, you kind of like get the you can close the text box early which almost like cancels out the oh okay oh uh, the time save of getting those oh for some reason i thought that technique also worked like up to like 48 star bits or something like that yes but it's harder to time the a press for that window but oh, okay we're not gonna explain that much about star bits if you want to know about it just look up star bit information by giselle astrid she did a really good job with documenting a lot of this game and she's really like she's really a great speedrunner for this game like she did a bunch of testing and research before i even started speedrunning myself like she was here since like 2011 i barely was even on the internet in 2011 so Big shout outs to her. Yeah, Giselle's the main reason why I started running this game. I saw yeah. the DDQ run. So it's it's definitely nice to see that they've done all this research for everyone to use. Oh, so that was really close. Uh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah, that level just goes like, it doesn't go my way normally. Also, so yeah, this, this level scary. is the official me when I eat Taco Bell meme origin. <laughs> if you know, you know. It's because uh, me when I eat Taco Bell kind of originates when there's another strat in this level called the uh, Lava Boost. I'm not sh I don't think Ghost performed it. At least I'm thinking No. Did. It's okay. a really difficult strat and it's not as much time save with Toopy. As you might expect, yeah, like, and only doing saves... that movement itself. Yeah, yeah, it only it saves like 0. 0.5. Half a second? But... I thought it was more than that. I thought that was like six seconds or something. It's like not that. six. It, it would be just one. If I know Giselle made a video about it, so and it's like it was barely 0. 0.5 because oh, of the um, item, because of the six up text box as well. 
Okay. That, that's a lot less time save than I initially thought, but yeah. But yeah, doing that trick, it kind of looks like Luigi is being set on fire on his butt, so that's why I just call it me when I eat Taco Bell. Because that's you, uh, that's you after eating some Taco Bell. Alright, so Gusty Garden 1, remember at the beginning of the run where we fought, like, not fought, I don't know why I'm thinking of this as a combat game, but we caught some bunnies. We're gonna do the same in this level, but we're doing it a lot later in the run. Oh man. Um, I mean, I guess you can think of it as a combat game because bunnies can be pretty annoying in this as game. As much as we would like to fight the bunnies, we can't. <laughs> also, also there's there's a, I'm gonna up. catch these bunnies by doing a simple long jump, so it's a bit finicky, so hopefully I get it first try. If I don't get it first try, it would be pretty bad because then I would have to chase the bunny around. Yeah, it's it's a pretty safe. But that was a good, very safe. That was good to catch. You just do a long time. Yeah, but some more information about this run. It's looking like it's actually like. Gonna, it's like not that bad. I think I could probably get like a mid 225 if I play like how I'm playing, which is still like a really good time for a marathon run. So, yeah, that's just something for me to consider because my estimate oh, is a sub 230, so it would be really good if I got a good time like this. I could probably 224 this, which would be even more insane. It would be really cool and good. Alright, so, uh, free slim free. We can just do a bit of a skip at this beginning section to skip going around the entire arena. Just like that. So yeah. And also, we're gonna have to light up these two torches, which will be like pretty annoying to do. After we're finished, so yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get over here. Alright, so there's not that much to comment on here, mainly for like a lot of the run anymore, because I think as far as I know we've already covered almost everything of what the game has to offer. Yeah, so there are a lot of tricks coming up later in the run that we'll also touch on. And, like, also, um, this section. So, uh, with the, these, this gravity pull is really weird, so I have to be careful not to die, because that can happen. But it looks like we're not going to do that, because that was pretty cool. Oh, so that was a really good free slam three, so happy about that. All right, so um, this is the Gusty Garden 2. So this is the first level to introduce the moles. We have mole cycles coming up, which <laughs> I want to, which I will hint, hint, wink, wink to some person. But... Shouts to them for telling me to do this strat. This is actually like one of my favorite strats to do in the run because it's so easy and it's also like a fun strat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, on this planet above is where the moles are. And normally it's a very annoying sequence because sometimes the moles are random. But as long as they're off screen, they'll be fine. Because once I reach the planet, um... That's basically like my cue to like. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna freeze this first mole so that I can easily get him while the planet's not showing. All right, so first mole here. 
I have a second mole here. And my final mole is over here. And that was a really good mole. Or ideally how they should go. So yeah, um... Oh god. Yeah, this is, um, the rest of the level's pretty chill. It's good. Yeah. So if you have, like, any donations you want to read, uh, absolutely go ahead. Don't have any dona donations right now. However, uh, we have already started putting some, uh, bid wars for tomorrow. Uh, the only one I'm currently active right now is uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 uh, has a bid war between playing as Crash or Coco. Coco is ahead $228.72 against Crash's $103.89. So, if you want to see Crash play a Crash game instead of Coco playing a Crash game, then there you go. That, that, that's for tomorrow, for sure. Uh, we don't have any more incentives for the rest of tonight, but uh, by all means, uh, check out the schedule below or... Uh, Put an exclamation point schedule in chat. You can check out some amazing runs that's going to be happening tomorrow. And that's just week when, week, weekend one. We have weekend two next weekend with even more amazing runs, including one from me. So, yeah, be sure to check all of them out. Also, uh, this is, uh, as we like to call him, horny Barack Obama. Oh, hey, you know, you know. Wait, this is the uh, this is one of the jokes that I actually don't know. So, how so, right, so why is it called that? Because uh, this is the uh, one that I don't know. Like one of the only ones. I would explain it, but it's actually gonna be pretty complicated to explain. But that's a uh, Major Burrows, his real name. So the idea for that strategy is ground pound him and then hit his tail but we actually jump over him so that he can just pop up a lot faster yeah. in some instances but sometimes what i think it's primarily in the second phase but sometimes when you like jump over him he sometimes tends to burrow underneath for a few extra seconds yeah but that's normally just position sake also free slam s it's basically like free slam one but this level is really fun like I'm gonna show it off and you're gonna be like, oh my god. This is actually one of my favorite levels in the run because sometimes I mean because normally it doesn't go that bad for me I'm probably gonna jinx this, but it's just genuinely like such a fun level to do It's so optimized and also just like so fast All right, um I don't think I need to get any bits for the rest of the run, so... Yeah, you should be okay. Yeah. You should be okay, I think. I mean, with 2P, you collect a lot of star bits easier. So, yeah, it's a lot easier to collect more star bits with 2P than it is with, you know, 1P. Also, I would really commentate over this, but I'll just let the gameplay speak for itself. So, not much is gonna be said. Sorry, guys. Not really too much to say. Oh, um, that was not good. Oh my god. Yeah, you normally supposed to go up like that section, but you can just skip these with yeah. two jumps normally, and that's the level. Normally, I think you would also need another fire flower if I'm correct. But yeah, with just a back, with just a couple of backflips, it's pretty easy to skip that whole section. Such a satisfying level too, because like all those toopy jumps and everything, it makes the level like so much more satisfying. Uh, this comp sub. So there's a sheet that lists like all of the comp, like the sum of best of all the top runners, and there's a sheet that the community uses called the community sum of best sheet yeah or put... seesaw for shorts yeah so they have sobs of multiple runners <laughs> and they try to see which of the best which sob like the run which like 
best segments each runner has and the segment there is like five seconds faster than mine which is really insane because of how optimized that level is like it's a one it's just barely a sub two which is really hard for me to get in a run like what's the what's what's the community some of wait what's the community goal for that it's a 159 by Dayton. Shout out to Dayton. 47. Dayton, 47. 47 is the answer to life. People say it's 42. It's definitely 47. 47. It's, yeah, it could, yeah, there's two answers to life. It's 42. Actually, there's three 42, 47, and 69. <laughs> oh my god. All right, um, Gusty Guardian 3. This is like the weird level. Like, this is like one of the weirdest levels in the entire game because, like, it's not like very relaxing. It becomes like really intense as you get to the end of the level with cannonballs shooting you and having to break crystals, having to shoot star bits. It's like, it makes you really wonder, like, what is going on in this level. It's like a fever dream. Like, you're gonna see you soon. Like, look at all those cannons. Or like, look at that section. It shouldn't exist. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can do a quick skip here, which, okay. So you don't need to collect these coins, but I will collect them because normally what you're supposed to do in the secret level, which we will be getting, is get all of these, uh, get all of these golden coins to Unlock, um, what is it called? To unlock a star, right? Which will eventually, like, be used to, like, unlock more to hit that golden chomp. But yeah. we're not gonna do that right now. We're yeah. just gonna get the regular star first. And the way we do that is like this. Alright, so we're just gonna launch up over the planet. Also, and I'm gonna freeze this, uh, electric dude just so i can get a better cycle yeah. also ghost i'm not sure but i think it i'm not sure if it's even faster to like grab the grab the star uh, grab the rainbow star power up in both three no and it's not faster oh. it's a bit slower by like a second but yeah if also, you do it in both uh, stars this. it is definitely safer to do it in three as well so that you don't have to worry we're gonna about do a small circuit here yeah. so uh just just i'll like to speak for yourself for yourself okay so i'm just gonna long jump here do a 2 jump there and we just skipped like most of the level there cool yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you can you can do the shortcut as one P as well as well, but with two P it makes the ending just a little bit easier. Yeah, and the one P version is a lot harder because you need like a specific amount of speed from like this running speed long jump, which is really hard. But like with two P, you can just do a two P jump and you have enough height. Like you'll just wall jump anywhere and you'll be fine. All right, um. Gusty Garden C, so the comet level of this. We're almost done with the bedroom, we just have a few more stars and the Bowser level. The Bowser level will look insane, promise. That is my Trust. promise to you guys. Trust. Yeah. Alright, so Gusty Garden C is the same. We just fight Major Burrows. I will be taking this a little safe, otherwise, I will lose time if I die, so that would be pretty bad. I was about to say this would this was a this would have probably been a deathless run, but I forgot I died in sling pod unintentionally. And beach ball. You Yeah. I I forgot. Um but normally you can just die intentionally in Sling Pod and play it off as like that's intentional. <laughs> Cause Sling Pod is just like loaded with star bits. So it's like whatever. I know people, I know one player runners die or do death or take deaths in Sling Pod for Star Bits, yeah. But yeah, that was a good Augusta Garden C. Yeah, nice. Um. 
Yeah, so we have two more levels. Gusty Garden S is like the level I just taught described like previously. So what we're gonna do basically is get a bunch of uh we are going to get a bit of like yeah we're gonna unlock a star and hit the chain chomp and they'll give us another star so it's pretty easy and that's that's the last level of this section we only complete free flame and gusty garden levels because they're really fast compared to the other galaxy which is dusty dune but dusty dune is genuinely like not a good level while i like dusty dune it's really slow if yeah. you do want to see Dusty Dune, uh, check out the 120 speedruns. 120 is such a great category. It yeah. opens up like the entire run, a lot of star bits, a lot, a lot more cool tricks. Actually, like there are so many cool tricks now in 120 because of like shouts to Jay, the world record holder. Like he found a bunch of strats and like. We've done a lot of stuff with them. He's done a lot of stuff with two with the two P especially. So yeah. shouts to Jay. He's really cool. Yeah. I knew Jay like before he even ran this game. Like when he was doing like his BFBB runs. So yeah. Oh dang, you've done it for that long. Yeah. He used to be in my chat when I was doing like Dark Side or Odyssey before I switched to Galaxy. Oh damn, so, nice. He's cool. Uh, so a uh, honey climb this is prob this is gonna look like really weird but i'll have x explain what's going on yeah so cause... there's actually a trick called value fly high b thing i kid you not that is the actual yeah name. there's no there's no really a formal way to call it i guess and basically if you spin as you're transitioning from well the way the b works is you can like fly while staying parallel to the wall and then if you fly for too long you'll unstick from the wall and if you spin as you like unstick it you'll get this huge boost of speed and take off like a rocket yeah you're gonna see this like first off and it'll look really cool trust me all right um Rust. i'll have a bit of silence for this first part and yeah that's it you just like you just go like a rocket <laughs> yeah nice and we're just gonna do a bit of two p jumps here to skip like going here because this is a horizontal planet and be more and be luigi's uh horizontal speed with the b is really slow so we're just going to do some two p jumps and skip that entire part and we're gonna do some more here. Like, we're gonna do some more rocket stuff. Yeah, you're not, you, you can only do it if you're going straight up. Like, you can't do it to the side, which is a only yeah. little caveat. And one more should be fine. And that's perfect. That was, that was really good. That was probably my best um, honey climb like ever in a run. Aside from my gold, obviously, but that was still like a really good honey hive or honey climb. Very good. I'm actually glad that third planet went as it is because if you actually like lose your, you can actually like die there if you get hit by the Mandy bug with that boost. So I'm glad I managed to avoid it. All right, Bowser two. There's a lot, lot, lot going in this level, so I'll have Hex and mine explain what's going on uh, for focus. There is quite a bit going on in this level for Bowser 2. Apparently, it, this is called Dark Matter, Dark Matter Plant, and you're basically surrounded by a whole lot of dark matter, where if you slip into it, you die. So it can be... So it can be like really costly if you die like anywhere. Um, very, very many cycles throughout this level and you're eventually gonna see a pretty big skip throughout the later portion. This level really is just what you call a movement masterpiece. Um, minus the one big skip, the movement is gonna really help you out throughout the level. 
Actually, actually, uh, I'd like to, I'd like to disagree with that. The skip itself is also really cool because if you don't do the skip, you would normally have to ride like a 40 or 50 second auto scroller. That's like really, really, really slow. And with that skip alone, you can like basically skip that auto scroller. It's called the gravity skip. And there's two is. ways you can, there's two ways you can do that skip. There's normal gravity skip, which involves waiting on the platform for a little bit, waiting on the perfect. platform for a little bit, like playing it safe. And then there's also, this version. Also, just for a bit of a show off at the end, uh, I'm just gonna two B backflip and then wall jump into the fight. That saves like a second or so. Oh, that's wall jumpable? Oh, damn. Yeah. Also, what I was gonna it say is It wasn't really that... implemented until recently, so that was pretty good. Okay. And the same thing for this Bowser fight, except he's going to spin at you, so you're gonna have to, like, watch out. Yeah, also, these are actually um, really hard to avoid. Um, they they look a lot easier oh. than they than they are, and it can really mess you up because um, you can just randomly, you know, get hit by Bowser even if you do it correctly, which is really annoying. We're gonna be using a technique called spin cancels uh, to. Yeah, it's to pretty easy to Luigi's do. You can like... basically, you can basically spin at Bowser to like cancel some of his like. Uh, lunging mm. stuff and it saves like quite a bit of time. It's pretty easy to perform. I would at least I would say it's pretty easy to perform. This is the hardest part. Okay, this is the hardest one to perform. Uh, so right. oh, perform doing it three times is kind of hard. So what you can do there is but like thankfully I got one. Oh. Yeah. The good thing about this fight is I got the strats, but I lost time because ba I let Bowser run around for no reason. <laughs> but awesome. yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What I was gonna say is that mm, you can you can spin cancel into him. Like for phase three, it's per it's kind of hard to do it like three times in a row or something. So. What you can also do is like let him lunge at you once and then do two spin cancels. It's quite a bit safer. Yeah, that is I used to do that strat, but then I just started implementing that. I was there there was a lot going on in Bowser 2, so if we miss something we apologize. Yeah, but that was like mostly what the level was about. And we're out of the bedroom. So now we're going to the final dome of the run which is the engine room best dome so yeah this is the best dome because there's a lot of strats that i'm going to be showing off that are really fun so the momentum like kind of slowed down in bedroom because of the boringness but it's going to pick up again and at a really fast pace so yeah uh, if you have any donations, you can go ahead and read them. I'm gonna be just entering this area. Yeah, I got no more donations right now, but uh, I will say that if you would like uh, to donate, uh, we have two targets for tomorrow. Uh, one for Breath of the Wild and one for Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. They're available now to donate towards. And a reminder, uh, at the, uh, up until the end of this a run, if you don't at least $7, you can put in for a raffle to get uh, the very rare Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So, get, that, get those donations in. Yeah, so that wasn't as I, I expected. I was supposed to bounce off those two Lumas and actually wall jump off that part to enter that arena early, or like thing early, but apparently I got like, I shifted in a weird way so it didn't happen. But yeah, uh, also I clicked again. I actually pointed my cursor at the top right because again, similar to Terrace, you can grab that pull start early and it saves like a good second or so. But here's Gold Leaf 1. This is the final level with the bunny in it. And we also are doing a bunch of hard movements. So yeah, normally you're supposed to go around this way, but we're gonna go clockwise. Oh, nice that BJ. Okay, um... Yeah. 
So I'm gonna be doing a two-pee jump into this uh, these, this blue star chip. I'm gonna get that blue star chip. Uh, I'm going to be long jumping here, and I'm gonna get this star chip. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a two-pee jump there to get up there pretty easily. Um, I'm gonna be getting that star chip as well, finally, and that's the clockwise strat. So, uh, here's also another cool strat, which I hope to get off. If I do fail it, I do have some backup bits, but hopefully we don't need them. I'm gonna first center my camera, hold left, and if I... Yeah, that was perfect. Nice. You can hit the bunny with that bulge, so that was pretty fast. Shoot out the star bits, and that's the level. Yeah, that that gold leaf one is another really technical level, so it was very good. Goes very well. All right, so here's gold leaf two. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of tricks in this level. So you just walk. I'll have Hex explain it because there's a lot of TB stuff going on. Yeah, there is. So uh, this level, I, it's definitely one of if not the hardest levels in the run just because of how much that can go wrong but with 2p it makes it a lot easier and also a lot more fun you're gonna see i guess the biggest skip is on the puzzle planet which is you're meant to lure a cataquack to knock you up to the m planet but you can just do a triple jump 2p jump and it's a lot easier and a lot faster and at the end I don't know if Ghost goes for Crump Jump, but I'm gonna assume I do. Does. I don't go for Crump Jump, but I go for the alternative, which is Stump Jump. Stump Jump. Okay. But, at, but what Hex is describing is at the end, you're supposed to take a B suit and go around the arena, but you can actually skip all of that with um, just a triple jump, and you can jump on the flower. It's pretty hard, which I'm hoping I get, but we don't. We can't tell until we get there, right? So yeah. All right. So here it is. I can triple jump up here. I can 2p jump up there, and I will long jump and hit myself with this cat. Okay, that was not what I wanted, really, with that cataquack, but it's whatever. These cataquacks can be really finicky and hard to control. I'm gonna freeze this mole for easiness, and this is gonna be like, yeah. I'm gonna triple jump off this stump, jump on the planet, plant, and that's, that's the strat. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very cool strat. Very nice. Was good. Very cool strat. It looks, it's really, it's harder than it looks. Like, timing a jump on that flower is one of the worst things ever. Especially considering your input could drop there. You might miss the timing of that input. So it's pretty, it sucks. What? All right, Ghost made it look easy. Leaked. Yeah. But trust me, that isn't. All right, Gold Leaf 3. This this level is pretty easy. Uh, so what you're supposed to do is get up to this area with the mole, right? So he's going to show his face right there. So he's going to shoot those bubbles, right? So we're going to try and get there as fast as possible. You're supposed to go around like this, but we can just do a triple jump up there where my 1P cursor was. And we can just, like, get a triple jump up there. So just watch. Um... Cool. And we can actually skip this cutscene, hopefully. And we can hit, we can fight this guy like that. Yeah, this is, um, this boss fight becomes literally a sitting duck once you skip that cutscene. It's it, also pretty easy to do the fight because he doesn't shoot the, oh, um, he also doesn't shoot his thing, so it's much easier to do the fight. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, very nice. And yes, 
And for a fun fact, Nintendo, this is probably the most coolest galaxy ever in the game. This is Toy Time Galaxy, and this level is based upon, like, my seven to eight year old imagination brain. <laughs> like, with all the building blocks, the mats. I think I owned one of the mats, like, around the house when I was, like, seven or eight. It's just a cool level, because it's such a kitty kid friendly level like nothing could go wrong but nothing can go alas, wrong but alas you have to get up this bowser toy this is the mecha bowser right so yeah we have to get up this toy and ground pound it at the top and it and it like dismantles itself but yeah it's a pretty cool level because look at these trains man i do not like vibing Trains are so cool. It makes you feel like the life is good when this game was released. And it was good when it released. But yeah, we're gonna do some long jumps here, and we're gonna do a 2B jump to get up into the section er early. I'm. All right, so I'm gonna collect some star bits because this is the last level I could probably collect star bits in without wait. losing time. Yeah. Wait, Ghost, are and you I short don't... on star bits by any chance? No, no way. Uh, no, I'm I'm way too. I have too many star bits. So if I'm if I feel like I'm still short, I'll probably get some in toy time too. But yeah. Yeah. We can just do two big jumps like that up into that area. Yeah. In toy time, in toy time one, you collect 94, and toy time two, you collect a lot around like 70 to 70. Yeah, but this run's looking good so far. If it keeps up, I think I could probably get a 224. Which would be like a minute off my PB, which would be pretty cool. Yeah, this run's definitely really good so far. Alright, so we're actually gonna climb up the arm for this for this fight. So yeah. Yeah, this is a this skip saves so much more time than you think. Also, um, I'm gonna try to ground. I ground pounded the side of that area because it saves a little bit of time. Because if you ground pound in the center of those like stone blocks, Luigi will actually lose a bit of time. He'll lose like a second because he'll go into Mecha Bowser, and the cutscene will start like a lot later. So. I'm pretty happy that went well. Yeah, we're approaching the end of the run. Wow. Yep. Yeah. I swear, even though it's a two hour and 30 minute run, like... Marathon runs of this so game fast. go by so fast. It's, it's, but, it's yeah. ridiculous. Like, one thing... Um, so moment, this you, is... You go ahead. Yeah, this is Gold Leaf C. So, um, it's very similar to Gold Leaf 3, where we go up. Um, oh, this is the last uh, cosmic level. So, before I start this level, I wanted to like, explain like the boost I've been doing. If you press, if you hold Z and press A before a fry frame window before the timer starts to go, says go, you can actually get a small boost at the beginning. And yeah. Like that. And we're gonna do a bit of a triple jump here. And we're gonna do another triple jump similar to the one we did in Gold Leaf 3 to get up here. And we're just gonna long jump into here. Like that. That was a really good Gold Leaf C. And now we're coming to the easiest one of the auto scrollers again. So C slide one. We're gonna take a bit of a breather in this level. Yeah, this is there's other levels that have been quote unquote auto scrollers. No, this is a complete auto scroller. And I'm actually good for star bits for the rest of the run, thankfully. Oh, so 601! I... <laughs> <laughs> Should I get one more for the 602? Yes. Do it. A great for the fans! Route. Do it for the fans! I will. I will have to get one star. And I will have to get one star bit because the second is not worth one star, but I'm sorry. Yeah. All because right, so... Yeah, so C slide one, 
is the last solid scroll of the run. We have Toy Time 2, a bit of engine, a bit of the, what is it called? We have a bit of, um, we have a revisit to the kitchen. Oh, and yeah. So we're almost done. But this has been like a really good showcase so far. I'm really happy with like, even if I have lost time in places and like, I feel like I couldn't PB, it's still a pretty good showcase for Marathon Run. Especially considering I got Gateway Skip at the beginning. Yeah, that was, like, super that was cool. insane. And I got a bunch of strats that I normally don't show off in runs. Except for maybe Fast Terran Talks, but like, again, Fast Terran Talks is like, really hard. So, I'm pretty happy with this entire run, and I hope you were happy with this run. So yeah, that's all I have to say. If you want to... I don't know if I should advertise my Twitch because I'm not going to be streaming for a while. Because I'm going to be moving into my dorm like four days from now, so yeah. I will take a quick hiatus from speedrunning, but I will be back in the Thanksgiving area, arena, or like Thanksgiving arena. time. And there we will be doing some 120 runs, which is the 100% run. Maybe I will submit a 120 run to Speed Docs in the future. Hey yo, let's go. But yeah, this is this has been a great showcase. All right. Um. So as soon as we're getting out of C slide one, oh, that was not. That was not ideal, but whatever. Yeah. All right, um. Yeah, so I know the it's been coming a bit quiet, but Toy Time 2, uh, this is an interesting level, so this first part of the level is done like with 2P, and it's almost screwless, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing yeah. a bunch of 2P jumps here. So, screwless is a cool new movement optimization that was just implemented by a lot of runners. Uh, yeah, a lot of this movement was implemented like recently, like within the past three months or so. Yeah, it's crazy to Especially see how... It's crazy to see how far the game has come since I, like, you know, started running it back in 2018. Like, there's a lot of stuff that has happened in four years. Especially since, like, 2P is, like, becoming so much more popular. So weird. It's, to like, think. amazing. It's so weird to think that, like, um, 120, the 100% category, has gone down by, like, 16 minutes in the course of like the past year, which is insane. And that was yeah. already an optimized category. Like it wasn't even unoptimized or anything like that. It just was broken wide open. Yeah, it comes naturally with like every single game that can be speedrun. Is that um, there's generations of runners that'll take this game to a whole new, whole new level. For instance, <laughs> when I started, we had a uh, sludgy and hardcore, and back then when I started running, the world record for 120 stars Luigi was a a 547.31, which is 35 minutes slower than what the current record is today. A 512.32 by J which was achieved on April 1st of this year. That's crazy to me. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, now Wait, we're coming you, up to Did you get one star too. bit? I don't even remember, uh, but oh, I don't even think so, sadly. Alright, so we're coming up to C slide 2. This is the final guessing game of the run, so get your guesses in. Because this is the uh, last opportunity okay. you'll get was, to guess. Uh, just saying, your star bit count is still at 601. Yeah, I'll get a star bit in, uh... I'll get a star bit before, maybe we'll be fine. I'll get a star bit before we enter the final level. For the 602 rep. 602 is a great, great category, and you do 120 in this run, so... And the yeah. 602, so... It consists yeah, of 
Oh, mind if I do? Yeah, it? if you want to get your guesses in, go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is the last opportunity for guessing again. And while you guys are guessing, I'll have Hex explain the <sighs> technique I'm going to do. Yeah, so this is what I talked about earlier, the, the second method of swimming. Surface swimming is a glitch that allows you to gain insane speed in the water. You have to shake really fast, and you have to shake within a couple frames of surfacing on the water, and it allows you to do this. Uh, 51 to 59, because my uh, sea slide is pretty inconsistent. Yeah, um, the surface swims, they're kind of precise. Like, they're definitely, like, not hard by any means, but it, it, it'll, there'll be times where it takes you two or three attempts, and there'll be times where you get it instantly. So it's, it's definitely, like, it depends on any given day. But, um, essentially you can smoke these penguins, they don't stand a chance. Yeah. Uh, we're coming up soon, so if I just, like, that was really tiring for me. But to be fair, I haven't been doing much arm, like, workouts. I haven't been doing my bicep curls, my tricep curls. So that was kind of difficult, but that was still a really good seaside, too. Oh, mind yeah, if I BRB good. for a bit? I gotta go Oh, somewhere. yeah, the webcam. That is pretty sus action. Oh, mind if I Trust BRB me, for a bit? Anything. I gotta go somewhere. All right, sounds good. Um, oh, God, I uh, forgot. All right, um, one more level. This is the last level with the surface swimming technique. It'll be a lot more clearer, especially in this. Yeah, Panda, you have to guess to the nearest decimal, though. So, like... Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is another level of surface swimming. It's a cosmic Luigi race, and it's essentially the first part of the level that um, you just need to do a surface swim in. It's essentially what we saw before. It still looks cool, though. All right. Um... All right, here, I'm gonna backflip because there's an air trigger for this Cosmic Luigi and it's a lot easier to hit that air trigger by just backflipping. Hopefully I can get this surface swim first try, that would be pretty nice. That was pretty good. Uh, I have one star bit, so... If mine was here, he could actually go. <laughs> yeah, this level's notorious because there sometimes will just be a star bit that. Oh no, I did here. not get the star bits, but um, that would have been a gold actually. Yeah, yeah. that would have been a gold. In this level, you can you can have uh, one stray star bit that will just follow you, and you can't spit it out, so it'll it'll just hit you as you get the star, and you get the text box. Kind of trolly, but it is what it is. You could try to avoid it, but then you have a chance of, like, not getting continuous shakes, because you do need continuous shakes for your surface swim, so yeah. it would not, like, work out well. Also, uh, Toy Time S. Uh, so this is very similar to Toy Time 2, but we're going to collect a bit of star bits and complete. This is very similar to Beach Bowl 3 with the Tox Box enemies, but we're on a cycle, so... It's gonna be even more difficult. Yeah, it's it's a pretty tight cycle if you go for the fastest one. So that was really good. Um about the cycles but i actually went into first person so that the cycles so that i could focus my luigi on uh the tox boxes in the background but it's whatever but yeah this is going well so far it sucks that we had to it was pretty slow though it's all good uh, I will be taking my time here, so... 
Yeah, I'm gonna just take my time here. Okay, um... Uh, okay. That was pretty weird. But that was still pretty solid toy time ass. Yeah, definitely very good. Back. Welcome back. All right, welcome back. But yeah, this is a good run so far. Yeah. Uh, Did I miss something I while I was gone? Not really. Oh, I almost got 602 star bits, so... Uh, yeah, but I had to shoot them out by accident, because I was at two, but I wanted to shoot out one, so... I accidentally shot the other for some reason, for no reason. All right, so toy time C. Sorry, Panda, there's no more guessing opportunities. All the guesses, uh, guessing opportunities were done at the beginning of the run. So yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, so this is Toy Time C. This is similar to Toy Time S, but on steroids, because the tox boxes are moving insanely fast. My goal here is to not die. That's all. And it'll look like I might die in some spaces, but trust me, I'm professional at this. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, but another thing I forgot to mention, right? Oh, um, another thing I forgot to mention. Oh, that was interesting. Is you could actually, uh -oh. the, the spikes on these platforms at the beginning are a lot bigger than the ones in the S, so you can't do like flip switch jumps onto there. So you kind of just have to interesting i thought they would be the same size but i guess uh no they're a lot bigger like you didn't notice that's that. one thing i noticed oh this is go looking good so far yeah, it's but oh, uh -oh. Two P helps a lot because you can freeze the freeze the spike platforms uh oh um yeah that sucks uh i will get the coin though so yeah we didn't die yay that's good we are still on 224 pace, which is pretty solid. Yeah, that'd so. be really solid for a run like this. But we do still need to get uh, a fast ending, so yeah. We have... So currently, like... Yeah. Alright, this is the final level in the engine room. This is gold leaf s another very calm level so this is another level with the bubble so yeah you just have to blow this bubble to collect some music notes and a star appears the music will seem very uh interesting to you oh i forgot to skip the cutscene but yeah this song is gonna be very familiar for those who have played um super mario bros 3 i believe yeah this is super mario bros 3 yeah so that's it yeah that level oh, is uh, really cool it's a lot hard honestly a lot harder than it looks um because missing one note then you have to like kill all your speed and go back so yeah that's why yeah. you normally just like press a for a bit and then just let the speed like speak for itself all right um yeah. all right now we're coming to the second revisit of kitchen now this is going to consist of two okay stars and then drip drop galaxy which I don't is... mind drip drop yeah drip drop is one of the hardest like well it's not a hard level but it does kill a lot of runs pretty easily thankfully so... 2p makes it a lot easier oh a yeah it does forgiving. definitely but yeah, I'm good with star bits, so I don't have to collect any in these remaining levels. I will collect one after, um, what is it called? Honey Hive L. Okay, so we're gonna get one just for the 602 star bit counter. 
but it'll still be pretty hard to get a 224 with this run. I, I got an FPJ, which is nice, but it's gonna still be like really hard to get a 224 with this run because I need a really good Bowser 3, which I've only gotten on some occasions. I think when the cutscene happens before Bowser 3, I'm just gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Alright, sounds can good. Can you lower your... Nothing's... Wait, can you make sure to keep one star bit so funny 602? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, this level is so weird sometimes. Like, what the hell is that? Like, the weirdest stuff has always happened to me in this level where I lose like 10 seconds to gold. But yeah, we can actually just skip the star bit, star chip collection with a 2P jump there. Yeah, you can also do the skip as 1P, but it is kind of finicky. So this skip is much, much It easier. requires a, a lot of height. And it's also like, you. it's only possible with Luigi with 1P with Mar. It is possible with this, the skip is as Mari, but it's, on, it's 2P only. Cause like Mari doesn't get any height. But yeah. All right, second to last level. Before the drop. All right, we have one more level. Boy base S. Oh, I forgot. For gore. All right, um, uh, I'm going to be using Tupi to freeze this so I can get that pretty easily. Yeah, but yeah, that was boy base us. That was a gold too, which is nice. All right, Drip Drop Galaxy. So uh, a running theme in this run with manipulating enemies is if they're not on screen, it doesn't exist. So we're gonna have to hit three eels to unlock a star. And these eels are like very annoying in the way they move. So we have to like predict where they will be. But thankfully, the eels will always start in the same spot with the right amount of with like the same pattern oh yeah i forgot um oh sorry mine i forgot that oh, you shoot out your star bits here but we will get an extra star bit for the 602 love shout out to the 602 race and the multi mario community they're all cool but yeah Alright, so with this level, you're gonna see these three eels. They're not gonna be on screen when we land on this planet, but once we enter the water, they'll start moving again. So I'm gonna try my best to predict where they'll be. Take some time here. That was a perfect drip yeah, drop. Very solid. That was really good. Nice. All right. Uh... Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. The hardest part about this is getting the star. <laughs> that was that was pretty difficult. There. Yeah. And funny too to see. I think I just lost time because I didn't want to get star bits, but here's the last star of the run. It's yeah. a Honey Hive L star, so... Yeah, we got... Alright, so... Yeah, we have 
an extra star bit, so that makes 602 Hello. star bits, theoretically. Alright, final star. So, this is the final Luigi star we'll be getting in the run, so, yeah, that's cool. Alright, so... If I do manage to clutch out a 224, that would be really cool because my some my estimate was like a two. My estimate for this run was a 220 sub 230 at least, which is definitely doable at this rate. But I also wanted to like set my standards high, so I will try for 225. Uh, if I could just get Luigi down here, thank you. Yeah. All right. Right. Uh, I think we're looking and at like a 224 pace or something, Ghost. Yes. So oh dang, that's I'll only actually... a minute off of PV. Let's go. Yeah. But I would need to have a really good uh, last level. Like, um... I would need to play like really good for this last level. Uh, like I a guess 735. He... 735 is actually pretty lenient, at least for your level. So you have quite a bit of yeah. leniency. All right, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. All right. Oh. All right, we have we have time for some donations here because this cutscene lasts about a minute and a half. Yeah. Fortunately, still no oh, donations. I just wanna say, Go this ahead. run wouldn't be possible without Luigi. Here's Luigi in his natural habitat. He's been sitting by me for good luck in this run, so I'm pretty really happy he's here. Unfortunately, donations have slowed down just uh, just a bit over the last hour. Um, guys getting to get those donations in, especially since uh, yeah. 3D All-Stars raffle is literally about to end within the next six, seven minutes. So if you want to go for that, there you go. There's also, of course, some additional prizes, especially with the uh, uh, grand prize that this weekend get $25 cumulative. You can go in for a Elgato Wave 3 microphone. Yeah, of course, just check out the oh, link Luigi's that I got posted coming. by Nightbot in the chat. Uh, but, yeah. Bro, Luigi. A fantastic run. I've been enjoying this. I didn't realize two hours <laughs> left so quickly. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, also, Go Luigi just occurred. All right, uh, this is uh, Bowser 3. I'll have mine explained since Hex is still, like, in the bathroom. But this level is really difficult, so I'm going to have to uh, mm -hmm. focus a bit. So... <laughs> Go ahead, mine. All right, gotcha. So I'll give it, I'll give it a little bit for the level to start up because uh, this level also has cutscenes. So uh, yeah, yeah. I will be trying to go for an early cycle here, which should be easy with two P. Oh. Okay, so this level has a, this level is pretty cool in the sense that you have a. You have a bunch of strats like throughout the level, especially in like the last planet right before the boss. In this one, Ghost is going for an early cycle. Uh, uh, looks like he... I don't. I don't think I got it. Uh, so uh, uh, but... Okay. Looks like he got the mine cycle, which is just the cycle I would usually get for the star at like the first planet. And for so, the yeah. second planet, we can just skip a. Skip that second, that section. Yeah, you can. Some precise the movement. thing is, you have to. Go, the reason why you can't go like straight down is because there's an invisible wall there. So you have to like go, like down left and then flick back to down right. So yeah, it's because there's an invisible wall right behind it. And all right, there's an entire section where you have to like avoid like fire bars and like avoid like falling into the quicksand and ghost just does like a long jump to the right it's really easy as luigi so yeah and over here and i'm coming up to i want to i'm probably not gonna go for this strat but there is a strat where you can long jump under the thwomp it saves a lot of time at like four seconds but it's pretty difficult yeah, to go it is for, pretty so. risky also what ghost just did there a little bit earlier is that he intentionally takes damage so that he can damage boost through the through the fire bars there it's pretty useful and uh same with this one as well ghost intentionally goes into the lava to purposefully take, take damage so that he can do another uh damage boost through that bullet bill which saves quite that a bit of really time good. So, yeah. um 
I don't know how good this could be, but this is still like pretty good pace. Build T24, I think. Because I think time I think I usually time from going to that launch start to the end is around three minutes and forty-five seconds. So I think that um that early cycle costed me like about nine seconds, so I think I could still like clutch out at two twenty-four. So let's hope for the best. One, two. Also, Yo. we have long. Oh, I meant to do. Uh, not nah, mad. I meant to do long jumps there, but I bonked by accident. I will be going for the final strat of the run, task strat, which is, as the name implies, it's task only. But it would be really cool if I got. Well, it's in not the run. really. It's not really task only. It's been done by Jay and a couple of other top runners, but it is really, really tight. <laughs> All right, so Bowser, uh, this is the final Bowser fight. So it, unlike the first two fights, we actually have to fight him on three different planets. So for this first one, he's going to turn into a boulder like this, and he's going to hit us. We're also gonna try to spin to speed up this process, and I will jump and try to hit him. Yeah, that's why we call it a Tash Rat, like Duke said. Alright, um... Hmm. Sorry. We're gonna use 2B to hit Bowser with these, uh, bulges. Uh... Aw, oh, dude, that sucks. Uh... Yeah, he was, like, a little far away, so... He, we couldn't hit him, sadly. Alright, um... Could be a bit tight for a 224. Probably... Probably 225 at this point, I don't know. I think we'll be fine, hopefully. One, two, three... I know I could probably get, like, a low 225 if I continue like this, but we'll see if we get to Astrid. It'll make or break the time. Oh, that was almost close. I actually just didn't get like enough speed. That sucked. Oh, that, that even sucks, but yeah, that was a, I think that's a low 225. Yeah, the timing uh, between One. the last Bowser shake and like good. But yeah, GG's. Yeah. This GG. is like a 225 16, yeah. I believe. Very good. Because it's like, I think it's a 30 second, 50 sec, 53 seconds from the final hit to uh, Bowser, so, yeah. the start. Did my stream? Oh, did those coming up soon, please? so... Okay, there we go. Oh, no. We're back. I guess I'm back. My thing froze. Alright, so, uh... Time's gonna be coming up once I grab this, uh, Grand Star, so... Yeah. It's pretty cool to think I could have 224 this. So, yeah. Low 225. Uh, time's gonna be coming up for Quo, uh... And that's only a little bit off of PBI, I think. Time. Like a little bit over yep. a minute. Two Very good time. Five. I think it's 225.07. I'm not sure. I have 225.09 on my end. But oh. yeah, that was a good run. Yeah, very good run. I stopped thing. a little early, so I think it was 225.07. Not 100% sure, though. That was really good. Yeah, but. Oh. Wow. I gotta show off all the things I wanted to do, but uh, I wanted to say for that last phase, you can actually do the damage cancel that, like, normally I would have done, but you saw me do it on the first phase, first phase, but yeah, I did it. Uh, what I will say is shout out to the Galaxy community. Uh, yeah, uh, if you guys want to intro, if you are interested in learning this game, I could link you to the Galaxy Discord. Uh, on speedrun.com they have great uh, resources i do st stream sometimes but i'm not going to be streaming that much especially since this is my last speedrun for a while so yeah 
Uh, thank you for having me, Speed Docs. And uh, shout outs to Hex and Mine. Hex, I know, is going to continue running this game, so like check out Hex and Mine also does yeah. 602 stuff, so check out Mine. I, also, I do multi Mario them. stuff, such as uh, games for the 1862, which is the longest uh, 3D Mario run I've done. It consists of the 602 games, and then it adds on Super Mario 3D World 380 stars and Super Mario Odyssey all moons which is 880 moons uh Cool. Yeah. Is it okay if I could show off some stuff because we still have like a f bit of like time right unless We want to start the SMS uh, how, how much how much time we're talking? Like two or three minutes because I want to show off a really fun level uh, Which one are we talking? Right. Uh, Luigi's purple coins It's oh, the hardest toy time star in the game yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. Purples. That's fine. We're a little yeah. bit ahead of schedule, so, you know, go ahead. All right, oh, yeah, because so, estimate yeah. is 2.30, and you finished, like, five minutes below it, right? Yes, yeah, so this is, like, one of the hardest stars I've gotten a lot of people say. Luigi's Purple Coins is, like, one of the hardest levels for, like, casual people. So, like, if you played this game, you probably struggled with this level a lot, but we'll try and just show it off in a speedrun setting. But yeah, this is one of the levels that wasn't like that popular, but you only see in 120, so yeah. I believe it's a great level to show off to. All right, um. All right, let's just speed run this as fast as possible. All right. Alright. Alright. Oh. But yeah, just enjoy the music. Purple Comets are not like really popular in the speedrun. Or like you can't get them in the any percent category because it takes a while to get to them. So yeah, just enjoy the music at last. You have to get a total of 150 coins, but... Well, um, uh, that's well. not true. There's 150 coins in this level, but you're only required to get 100. Yeah. It would have been cool if I got all the 100 coins, but... Yeah. Yeah, Tugs, it's because it's almost as if I don't run 120, but that's it. Uh, yeah, Good but stuff. that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching and enjoy enjoy the rest of the marathon. I will also be enjoying the rest of the marathon with you guys, but yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching and good luck again. to see T for his run. Great run. Yep. Great run. Very thank much you. enjoyed it. Thank you guys for coming out. It was, it was a fantastic, fantastic speed run. But yes, coming up. Super Mario Sunshine, the finale of Saturday on S.2020.